What's going on guys? Welcome to Design Media X. In this video, we are building a newspaper magazine block application. Here we have the drop down menu. You can actually use this for your news website as well as your block website. So this is the navbar bottom. We have the navbar top, which is the black one. And this is the bottom. You have your hot links, you have your headlines. We're not using the grid system. We're not using Tailwind CSS. Everything here is designed using HTML and CSS. And as for the CSS, um, just because we have, we're going to be having clash, a clash of uh, class names. Um, I decided to use SaaS, the SaaS framework for CSS in building this awesome project. All right, so you have different categories. You have sports, you have lifestyle, you have health and fitness, you have politics. So here we have audio video section, and this is another component. So the, the beauty of using um, functional components is uh, it helps you to manage your websites a lot better. Right, so uh, this is the full dress post section. This is the photo gallery, readers, opinion. So everything here is um, a component. Everything is a component. So uh, it makes it easier to manage your website, as I said earlier on. All right, so um, if you want, if you guys want the complete build, uh, the complete UI for this, please like and hit the subscribe button. All right, if I can get a thousand likes for this, I promise you guys I'm going to have the complete UI and as well as the complete um, project. I'll be integrating the back end as well. So hit the like button if you appreciate this video. You have the advert section and all. Um, this is going to be a pretty long build, right? So I'll see you in the build. All right, so here we're going to start up our application by typing npx create react app and then we're going to say blog. So we are creating our project here in a blog folder. So we're going to wait on it for some time. And this is going to install everything that we need. So we're going to cd into our project to our folder blog and then we're going to say code dot now the code dot here brings up our vs code let me just get rid of this all right so this is our installation let me just use git bash get rid of this all right so uh, if we go into our source folder here uh, public folder there are some things we don't need here we're going to get rid of that so meanwhile let's just spin up our application by typing yarn start just click yes because i've already um, done this before so this is using port 3001 so if you have this it means that uh, you installed your application correctly all right so let's quickly go ahead and delete some things that we don't need so all right, so um, let's start off in a public folder. Let's highlight this. We don't need this. Right click, delete, and then move to recycle bin. All right, so come here, select this, these, and these. And then I'm just going to leave the app.js and index.js. Delete this. All right, so we're leaving the app at index. So in index, we're just going to clear out this web report web vitals and then clear this one out clear this as well all these inputs go to app.js we're going to clear everything here and then we're going to clear the header including the header tag everything all right so um, it's not complaining right now so in our index we have nothing here everything is cleared up okay so um, let's just clean this guy up a little bit. So get rid of all these comments and get rid of this one as well. Get rid of this. We don't need it. I'm going to get rid of this. 
get rid of the team color all right we are good okay so so we need uh, a font so we're going to be using nolito so go to google fonts and then search for nolito should i use the nolito sans or nolito Mm, let's use the nolito all right so we're going to select the straight ones so we're not going to use the italized italic ones here so just make sure you select the the straight ones so like this 800 all right so in here we're just going to copy this one this link just copy this hit copy so go back to our project i'm going to paste it here and save right so so we're just going to get rid of this and then here we're going to say us news multi-purpose news and magazine template magazine blog template and then here we're going to use a meta tag and then um, this is going to be and our, so our content the keyword our content is going to be we have magazine we have blog post article Editorial, publishing, modern, responsive, and then templates. Okay. All right. And for description, it just um, we can just copy this news, multiple posts, news, magazine, and blog post. Just copy this and paste it in here. Save that. All right so yeah i just give it general styling all right so just come in here and then link the style sheets so we're using the link tag real style sheets and this is going to be um href and style.css so here we're going to use this asterisk that's general styling so this is going to be margin zero our font size is going to be 14 pixels uh, we have a line height of 24 pixels we have a font width of 400 and then we have word wrap brick word and font family and then this is going to be nolito sans serif serif save this all right and then box size is going to be border box of course you have to include that one so as for the body uh we're going to need an image so let's quickly go and import all the images we're going to need so we're going to need a background image actually um these are the images here all this image we're going to need for this project so i'm going to be putting this in the description below so we're going to take this assets and drag it to our public folder drop it all right so here we're going to be using bg that's this bg pattern here this one here that's one good that's what we're going to be using for our background image so here we say background image and then this is going to be url and then we're going to go into our assets folder bg pattern.png okay that's it just hit tab and then background size is going to be auto and then um, background repeat and this is going to be repeat so let's view our so you can see we have the background here awesome background Okay, so let's just minimize this. So get rid of this. 
save and we are good all right so we need icons so we're going to use the react icons for this so just copy this react icon dash dash save so since we're using yarn so i'm going to come here i'm going to split terminals click this split terminals git bash here yeah, i'm going to say yarn add and i'm going to paste that in enter so this is going to install the icons that we'll be using for this project you can also use material ui but in this project i chose to use the react icons it's quite easy so in our source folder i'm going to create two folders here so the first one is going to be pages folder here we're going to have our home page so let me just x out of these we don't need this again Right, so in our pages folder, I'm going to create another folder called home. So here I'm going to create two files. The first one is going to be home.scss, and then I'm going to create home with capital H.jsx. Right, so here I'm going to use a React snippet RFCE, and I'm going to import my style, which is home.scss. Then um, let's get rid of this. And then the class name here is going to be home. And then I can just say home page or home wrapper. And then in here, I'm going to say home page for now. So let's view this. Not gonna come up for now because our icons is still installing. So let's come in here and then render our home page and our app. So I'm going to type in here. So this is how you render your components. So this is going to be home. Make sure you import this at the top. You can see the import there at the top. So let's wait for this. Is an error. There's an error. And this is not done yet and then um, i have not installed my sars so i have to install sars so i'm going to do yarn add sars s a s s so this is going to install the sars framework for this extension scss so it's done and then let's check it out so you can see home page there all right so we good all right so in our home.scss we're just going to basically um, go into our home wrapper our position is going to be relative and we have the max width is going to be 1200 pixels and then we have margin it's going to be zero top and bottom auto left and right and then the background color is going to be white. Let's just use FFF. And then box shadow here. We have we want a shadow. It's going to be 0, 5 pixels, 10 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0.1. Right, so let's view this. So you can see that white color there. Okay. So this is what we want. So we don't need this. We don't need this again for now. Okay, so firstly, we are going to create components. Remember, we want everything to be in the components, right? So we are going to design, this is the complete build. So for the top here, this is going to be a component. So this is going to be now bar top. So that's what we want to design right now. So we're going to create a folder. And then this is going to be nav bar top. All right, so in the folder, we're going to create two files. We're going to be navbar.scss, lowercase, and then the JavaScript, which is going to be navbar.top.jsx. So we're going to use the React snippet, RFCE, press tab or enter, and then make sure you import our, your styling, .navbar.top.scss, save that. 
Okay, we're good. Get rid of this the class name here. And this is going to be nav bar top. And then here, we're going to say nav bar top container. Nav bar container. And then let's just say nav bar. Okay, so we're good. So we're going to go to our home the JSX and we're going to render these components. So remember, make sure you import that. All right. Oops, it's not here. All right, this is it here. We're good. Okay, so right now we want to start to build our Number. So we have left hand and have the right hand side. So we're going to create um, two items here. So let's just say left and then we'll create another div. Let's just put this at the top. And then this one is going to be right. Right. So this is right. Save that. So you see it left and right. So we're going to use flexbox quickly. All right, so in left, what are we having? In the left hand side, we're having uh, two items. All right, so here we're going to have um, um, an icon. So we're using this um, location map icon. So this is how you use it. So import, just copy the name and paste it here. And this is going to be from React icons. Then slash the first two letters there, which is MD, as you can see here. All right, so I'm going to show you how to get these icons from the um, React icons uh, website. So, so this is the icon here, which is looking like the map icon. So here we're going to use in style. So we're going to increase the font size. And then this is going to be 18 pixels. Let's just say 16. All right. So, and then the span here is going to be New York. So that's this one here. Okay. All right, so for the other one, we are going to have um, WI Day Cloud as the icon name, and then the same style in here. So let's just import the style, the React icon class name first. So this is React icon slash WI. So always end it with the first two letters. That's it. That looks like a cloud. So this is how you get it. You just come in here and search for cloud. So you just type in here cloud. So um, whichever you click, it's just going to copy the class name. So um, this I'm going to show you the one I copied. Just populate as the W. Look at it here. This is it. All right, this is WI. So if you copy it, you can see it just gives you the name, and then make sure you import it here, and then that is it. Very easy. So that's how I'm just going to be doing that. So here I'm going to say 21 degrees Celsius. Okay, and for the degrees, I'm using holding down Alt. And then pressing 248 right in the numeric keypad so hold down alt and press at the same time press 248 it's going to give you that degrees all right that you see there don't forget that okay so uh below this i'm going to have um another class name item and then i'm going to be using um, the calendar icon 
right so make sure you import it bi calendar from react icon slash bi remember the two first letters all right so here i'm just going to copy this style here and then i'm going to paste it in here okay so here i'm going to have a span and i'm going to say today sunday 19th january 2023 save that so let's take a look at it so this is it here all right so um redo the styling um okay let's just drag this here okay so here now bar top our background color here is going to be one 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 and then to see it's dark so let's give it a height of 50 pixels. Okay. This is looking more like this. And then here, since we're using the SAS, we're going to have a navbar container. And then padding here is going to be 12.5 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. And then we're going to do display flex. Okay. And then here we're going to do a land item center and then justify content space between. You're going to see the effect after we put that for right. So this is for left right now. Okay, now um, inside the now back container, we're going to have item and then we're going to do display flex. right so let's continue we're gonna do a land item center and then we're gonna do a color this thing this one is supposed to be left okay so it's back up all right so um here yeah, we're gonna have it a gap of 15 pixels and then we're going to do here justify content center and then inside left we're going to have items we're going to do display flex align item center and then we're going to have a color of 777 see now you can see it all right so um let's just add in here cursor pointer um i don't want to use the link i, I didn't want to complicate this a lot and this is just the design ui um if i have lots of pages i'll be using the react router dom and using the link but not now do that when i'm doing the complete build so this is the hover effect it's looking very fast so here let's just add in here a transition of 0 0.5 seconds okay this is looking better there's a little delay there of 0 0.5 seconds okay so here uh, for the span we're going to do a font size of 14 pixels and then we're going to do a font weight of 500 save that there's no much change okay now in the right section as uh, this is the left now this is going to be the right get rid of this we're going to have a class name of item and then in here we're going to have md outline personal person outline as our icon 
remember we're having two items in there so the first one we're going to have this um, icon md outline person outline you can see it's coming from react icon so you can hit enter and then to see it at top make sure you import this otherwise you get an error and then for this uh, for the font size just copy down and paste and this is going to be 18 pixels um it's somewhere around here it's here and then the span is going to be login slash register As you can see it's here as this here all right so for the next item uh, we're going to have here md outline language you can see it's coming so hit enter and sometimes it doesn't come so if it doesn't come up you just have to import it manually to change this one to 18 pixels All right and then as for the span it's going to be english so here you can change from english to spanish to french and then also we're going to add in another icon that's a drop down so using this um, rx carrot down so it doesn't come so let's import it from react icons slash rx so let's check it out it's here below this is it all right so let's quickly jump into uh, let's just increase the font size a little bit so this is going to be 18 pixels also so just copy this and then here i'm going to paste it All right, so um, for our icons, we so for our icons, that's the icons down there below. So this is left. Let's this style up the right. So we're going to say position relative. Okay, so it's relative because we're just going to add in this drop down menu. That's why we are putting adding this relative here ahead of time. Then we're going to display flex. You see here they are all horizontal. And we're going to do align item center, and then here we're going to do a gap of 15 pixels. Let's just say 15 pixels see that gap there and then we're going to do a justify content center and then in here we're going to have icons so as the icons on the right let's drag this copy this Just paste it here. It is the same style, and that's why I'm just copying it and pasting it there. The same color, the same hover effect. And then for icons, so that's this icon here. Um, the first one here, I'm going to have. RI Facebook fill it's not coming okay means I have to do it manually so copy this and then paste it in here so let's import this at the top so I'm gonna say import paste it in from react icons and RI You 
can basically use other icons if you want to all you need to do is just to go to the react icons and search for it so this is facebook i'm gonna need lots of them so the next one this is going to be ri twitter fill import that and um, this is going to be I am Google Plus it's not coming All right and this is going to be MD RS feed okay make sure you import that and then this is going to be FA YouTube okay so it didn't come so let's copy this So import, paste it in from React icon slash im lowercase, and then the Facebook. Let's import fa from React icon slash lowercase fa. Remember the first two letters in smaller, smaller case, lowercase. okay they are here so you just have to change the color so here um, in the right that's here we have icons i'm going to do a display flex i'm going to do a color of high 777 that is it and then we're going to do a gap of 15 pixels and uh, you can see that gap is looking much like the original build and then we're going to do cursor here pointer you can surround you can basically surround the each icons with uh, link tag or anchor tag right but uh, since this is just the design ui all right so right now let's get the drop down menu for that as a drop down for the english all right so below icon um we are basically going to write a javascript logic here all right so uh, we're going to say drop down so if the drop down is true then we're going to render this div here and then this is going to be a ul with a class name of drop down all right so let's first and foremost um, use the use state hook here so we're going to say const drop down set drop down so basically what we're doing is we are creating a variable that will be able to um, hold our state we're using the use state hook make sure you import the use state hook by pressing ctrl space bar make sure you import it here at the top and it's coming from react all right so and at the beginning it's going to be false okay if it's false it's not going to be sh showing as when you click on it um, and it's false it's not, nothing's going to happen so here we're going to have a class name of drop down menu and then in here we're going to have li anchor tag okay we're going to have a let's just get rid of this um, um href it's going to complain anyways that's the warning you're getting there so english the next one is going to be spanish and then um this one here is going to be french so this option enables you to change the language okay so so it's not showing because it's false so if i change this to be true and save you're going to see it here it's showing here so change it false you won't see it again here so all right, so how do we do that? How are we going to um, control it from the UI? What we're going to do here is to create a function and then we're going to say const handle drop down. 
and then we're going to use an event and the event is going to be the on click event so we're just going to set drop down um, and that is so we're using this exclamation mark and then what it signifies is if it's true and we click on it it's going to be false and if it's false it's going to be true right so that's what this function is all about okay so um just going to come down in here we're going to go to where we have item and english that's here so in this item here we're going to use the on click um, function here and then this we're just going to copy and paste or probably write down handle drop down that's the function so we'll save this so when we click on this it's going to come out let's refresh let's click on it it's appearing and we'll click on it it goes out look at it click on it it goes out all right so we have to style this Okay, so here uh, we have our drop down menu and uh, we're going to position it absolute. Remember, we did that for relative for the item, so this is going to be absolute. So remember this for right, we did relative here. So in drop down is going to be absolute. Um, now we're going to say align item center and uh, we're going to do justify content center. And then we're going to do a padding of zero, a margin of zero. That's because UL comes with margin and padding. We're going to do display flex. And then we're going to do, so that is it here. And then here, we're going to say flex direction is going to be column. All right, so it's taking shape. Uh, we're going to do list style, we're going to get rid of the bullet points, list style none. Uh, background color is going to be white. Let's check it and see how it looks like. You see it here, it's coming. All right, so um, we're going to say color 777, that's grayish color. And then the, from the top, it's going to be 37 pixels. Okay, so you can see it. All right, it's looking skinny right now, so let's make it a little bit bigger. So here we're going to use li, and we're going to say padding five pixels top and bottom, thirty pixels left and right. So I'm giving it a padding, so you can see it. And then here we're going to do a transition of zero point five seconds. That's because when we hover over it, we want um, a smooth transition that's when we change the color so here i'm going to do li i can do it here i can use the ampersand li all right so for the a i'm going to have a font weight of 500 as for the anchor tag And here for the hover is going to be color. Let's get rid of this. I think I um, can put it here. Hover, and then that's going to be red. So if you hover over it, you get that smooth. So if you check this out. So it's changing to red from dark to red. I think um, I just do border bottom here of two pixels solid um, CE0000. That's four zeros. So let's just have something unique. Just get rid of this. I think. I think we're basically done with the nav bar top, All right? So, 
uh, the one in here I believe is coming from the anchor tags that we have here the href remember we got rid of it okay so that's not a problem that one can stay so right now let's get this one done that's the logo and the advert so here we're going to create a folder I'm going to call it advert top and then in here we're going to create two files so we're going to have adverts top.scss and um, adverts top.jsx and then we're going to use our react snippet rfce and then we're going to import our styling which is um, import dot slash advert top dot scss and then here we're going to have a class name of advert top and then here we're going to say advert top container and then let's quickly that's here that's this what we're about to build right now so we have um, left and right so here we're going to say left left is for the icon right is for the advert so this is right and then this is left oops let's go back this is left save this all right so we need to um, render this in our home page so we'll come in here and then we're going to do adverts make sure you import that if it comes advert top save that so you can see it here so uh, this is the components we're talking about so everything is being broken down into components so in the left we're going to have our anchor tag get rid of the href and then we're going to use our image uh, so it's going to be assets slash logo.png and then as for the alt if there's no image we're going to use us news logo okay so this is it the logo um did some work there to reduce it so um for the right we're going to have an anchor tag and then for the image we're going to go into our assets folder and then advert ttt.gif file is a gif file i just copied it from a liverpool website oh yeah i'm a liverpool fan so for the alt is advertisement so this is it so here you just have all our i think the this is the logo here and advert gif is here so this is it you could probably use an image you could do whatever you want to do with it all right so here i just have to style this so i'm going to go to just drag this here all right so scroll up skip some room so here i'm going to do advert top it's not going to be much i'm going to do a padding of 30 pixels at the top 30 pixels at the right 23 pixels at the bottom and then 30 pixels at the left save that okay so this is it so for the advert top container advert top container i'm going to do display flex all right so you see it is in horizontal form and then we're going to do align item center and then here we're going to do um, justify content space between so it's going to spread it apart all right so we're going to have space in between them all right so this is it A simple one and then let's do cursor pointer so we we'll click on it okay we could basically do use the anchor tag and then do cursor pointer there but uh, just lazy just have to hurry up build this long okay so this is done you can just x out of this and then we have a long build coming our way which is going to be the navbar button 
as this here uh, why it's long is because the of the drop down menus we have in here I'll click this one have this one also i'm going to make this as short as possible then we're going to have our link hot links and what have you so all right let's go design this right now so here in our component we're going to create folder also navbar bottom Right, so here we're going to create two files navbar bottom.scss and then also we're going to create navbar bottom.jsx. Right, so here we're going to do our RFCE enter or space bar. I'm going to import our styling navbar bottom.scss save and then here I'm going to change class name to be navbar bottom right so we're going to render this here in our home page and then here is going to be navbar you can see it here click on it once you see the import click on it save and let's quickly go to our home page and then we can see it here navbar bottom it's ready and let's start up in building the navbar button so here we're going to have navbar button wrapper so this wraps around our navbar button and then we're going to have lots of items so here we're going to have home so span here is going to be home so we're going to copy this a whole lot of times Right, so here for the icon here we're gonna have a drop down icon so we have MD keyboard down keyboard arrow down it's not coming it means we have to import this so just copy this here we're gonna do import we're gonna paste it in and this is coming from react icon slash lowercase MD save that okay we have an error here okay looks like um from the name let's change this one to capital k change this to capital k save that all right so we're good all right so here um so this is it here as that arrow drop down arrow so this here we're gonna have walls news and then for the style we're gonna have a font size of 20 pixels save this so let's just copy this copy this the whole of it paste it here so here we have national finance entertainment so here we have national and then here we have finance financial here we have entertainment lifestyle where we have technology where we have uh, travel make sure you paste that in because it's a drop down icon to travel and then let's copy this one more um, here we're going to have um, SC Sports and um, we have Category and we're going to be Pages and then lastly we're going to have here 
I just copy this and paste this here. Yeah, we have FE search, search icon. And for the font size, I just paste this one in. Let's import FE search from React icons, you know, the drill slash FE. All right, so this is it here. Uh, we just have to use a flex box to change this horizontal and then align item center, justify content, space around, and all that good stuff. All right, so let's start up. So first, we're going to say uh, here, nav bottom. I'm going to change the background color to be CE00000, four places. And then we're going to do a height of 60 pixels. Let's check it out and see. All right, so this is it. Okay, so here um, we're going to go to nav bottom wrapper. And then we're going to do a padding of 20 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. But let's do display flex. Okay, let's display flex. And then we're going to do here align items to center. All right. And then here we're going to do a padding of 20 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. Okay. So here let's do here a color of white. And then justify content space between. All right, so you can see it. All right, so for our items, uh, I'm going to do a position relative. Uh, we're doing a position relative because um, um, when we start off with the drop down, you're going to see the reason why we did relative. So we're doing display flex, align item center. You can see those icons aligning with the text. And then here we're doing the cursor pointer. So for the span, and we're going to do a font size of 16 pixels. Okay, it's a little bit big. There's something wrong here somewhere. Changing. Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. Okay. Think. Um, let's change this one to twenty five. Pixels, save. Still not the same. 10 to 15. Okay, that's a little bit better. It's not looking like the original build. All right, so we have here home, so. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Save. All right, so this is looking more like it. All right, so let's take care of the drop down. The drop down menus here. I uh, wouldn't want to waste much time here, so I'll basically just copy the drop down and then we'll do the styling. All right, so we have it in, we have to create a state, 
for it so let's say const drop down menu as drop down one so let's take the first one as drop down one set drop down one and then i'm going to use a use state hook make sure you import the use state hook from react and then at the beginning it's going to be false that's not going to be appearing not until we use the on click function and then we'll create a function for that so that when we click on it it shows when we click on it we're going to toggle it so that's basically what we're going to do all right so here in home inside of home item we're going to write a javascript logic here so we're going to say if drop down is true only if then we're going to show this uh, div here all right so i'm just going to paste this in so um this is what i pasted in here i don't want to spend time copying this all right so here i'm just going to import the icon so it's going to be navigate next So this is the div drop down menu one. You see it here span and an anchor tag, span and anchor tag. So this is basically what you can use the list as the UL as the list tag, but um, I chose to use span for it. All right, so this is it here. Just copy and paste that. This is what I pasted in. So if it's true, it's going to show. So you can see it here. So here below items, uh, we're going to do a, a drop down. Let's just copy this. We're going to do a position absolute. And then here we're going to do a top of 40 pixels. And then we're going to do a width here of 160 pixels. And then padding is going to be 15 pixels all around. As you can see, it's showing up. Okay, so um, next up, we're going to do a display flex, and the flex direction is going to be column, and then we're going to do a background of white, and then color is going to be 666. Let's check it out. As you can see it right now. Okay, so let's finish up this. Um, let's do a border bottom of two pixels solid. Um, C E zero 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 zero. See that border bottom, All right? And um, yeah, let's do a box shadow, and then this is going to be zero five pixels, ten pixels, RGBA zero 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 point one. See that shadow there right so it's making it look better so in the box in the drop down menu we will be targeting well, let's forget forgot this z index of one so this will come up all right so here we're going to have the span uh, we're going to span and then we're targeting the anchor tag a and then here let's do display flex let's check it out all right so let's do align item center and then do padding bottom of 18 pixels so it gives it space all right so this is nice looking okay right now and then let's do a font size of 16 pixels 
nice okay so we are basically done so how do we make it go away when we click how do we toggle this mm. just add one more thing here on hover i want to do a color of let's just choose that c e zero 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 so hover over it you see it okay you can basically add a transition here all right but um uh, doesn't really matter so here let's write that logic we're going to create a function and then this is going to be handle drop down one and then this I'm going to pass an event here listener and then what we're going to do is to set drop down one and then we're going to use the toggle as exclamation mark drop down one so um what this is basically going to do is if it is true it's going to change it to false and if it is false it's going to change it to true as we click so um here we're going to use the on click function on click method so we're going to come in here an item for home i'm going to use the on click and then we're going to pass in here the function name which is handle drop down one so when we click on this this is going to change from false initially it's going to be false not going to show and it's going to change from false to true so if it's true it's going to be false it's false it's going to be true and this is responsible for it this exclamation mark here so we'll click on this to see it's coming click on it it comes so when we click on any other one nothing happens i think you see it well when we click on that specific div it comes up so we're done with the first one which is easy so this is responsible for it use state hook we're creating a function for it and then we're using the on click event listener and that basically it all right so we're done so the next is uh, the world news this is going to be huge now i'm going to be copying and pasting all of this is the styling that i'm interested in there's nothing so special about the html tag all right so here we're going to have left and right the left is going to be that and then the right is going to be the image and then what have you so for the world news below this icon just going to paste that in So I'm going to have drop down two. So I'm going to call this drop down two. So if it's true, then I'm going to have this div here. Let me just copy. So this is const create a use state for it. Drop down to set drop down two. And then I'm using the use state hook. At the beginning, it's going to be false also right so uh, we're going to create a function for it anyways but um, just come down here so if it's true i'm going to render this div here so i just pasted the div so this is it there are some icons i need to import that's why i'm having errors so this is drop down to i have drop down menu wrapper i have left this is the left is still the left and then this is the right this is the right here so i have to import this md visibility just adding it here save that come down there are some icons let's copy this this also mds so space paste that in here okay i think we still have more icons 
md flash copy this come in here paste that in save it's actually huge and i don't want to spend time writing this um, html um, tags and what have you so come in here and paste that in I would have done this, pasted the, um, the icons anyway, but I just wanted to show you guys at least I can do something and not be lazy. Coming here, this is from FA. So if you see the one that is starting with FA, you put it there. Let's copy this, paste it in, save. This one more copy this. So this is not there. So let's import paste that in from React icons, and this is going to be hi. Save that. All right. I think um, there's no more errors. It means that all the icons have been imported. Let's go back to the top. So here we have. Here yeah, the drop down to so if it's true then we're rendering this div so we have the left this is the left this is the left side and that left side is going to be this side here as you can see then this is going to be the right so you have left and right so this is the left and for the images let's come down hope you can see that this is the left this is the right now. Now this is the right from here to here. This is the right, as you can see. Everything here, as you see, is the right. So, so for the right, we have the right top and right bottom. So this is the right bottom here. The right bottom is this um, the link you can see here. That this is it. So we have the top and the bottom for the right so this is the top we just have item and then we're duplicating those two that item into four so for the item we have top and bottom also the top is going to be the image the bottom is going to be this h3 so this is the item this is the item so we have an image here at the top and then we have this um, title at the bottom that is um, probably an except so it's just repetition so let's quickly go and style this guy up so for so after this i'm going to come in here and say um just come here copy as the drop down to as everything here everything here so this drop down one so for the drop down two yeah we're gonna use an on click method and then we're going to say handle drop down to all right so let's create this function real quick same thing as we did for the drop down one so here we have const drop down to the passing an event and then we're going to set drop down to this is the setter and then here we're going to use that exclamation mark drop down to so if it's true and we click it's going to be false if it's false and it's and we click it's going to be true so that's what the bang means here so we'll click on it we'll see it all right so let's refresh this again we'll click on it it shows when we refresh it goes out click see it shift this a bit all right so
okay so here i'm going to set i'm going to say uh, drop down to to drop down menu two we're going to do a position of absolute because we're doing a position relative for the item okay again once more as the item here we're doing position relative so going to be relative to that and then here we are doing a background color of white and then from the top it's going to be 40 pixels just as the other one and then the left is going to be minus 95 pixels okay so you can see it. it's taking shape right now and then the width is going to be 1145 pixels all right you can see the width here from here to here and then here we're going to have a height of 300 pixels save let's check it out you can see it the height overall height our image is budging out we're going to take care of it and then let's do a padding of 20 pixels all around see where it's starting right now okay and then the box shadow you can basically copy that but let's say box shadow let's just copy the whole of this copy it and then paste it in here so you have that um, shadow around the box and then let's do a border bottom of two pixels solid ce0000 save that so you have that red line at the bottom okay and then here we're going to do a z index of one so we want it to come up to be above the pages so then for the drop down menu to wrapper we're going to do a display flex here it's this here um we're going to do um display flex okay image is still big we're going to control that in a second and then for the left remember we have for the left and right so this is the left and then the whole of this is the left so we're going to do a flex 1.9 so we're giving it a unit of 1.9 that's probably size and then for the right and we're giving that a unit of let's say 10 right you won't see it as of now but you can see it where the image is starting starting from 9 so here we're going to do display flex and then we're going to do flex direction column and then inside this we're going to do item display flex align item center and then color is going to be 666 you see it this is the left hand side okay so let's do a padding bottom of 20 pixels okay this is looking good and then here we're going to do a transition of 0 0.5 seconds that's because when we hover over it, we want to be to we want it to be smooth. So here on hover, we use ampersand on hover. Uh, color is going to be CE 0000. Save that. Okay. All right. So for the right, so we're done with left hand side. You can see it's looking exactly the same. So for the right, we want to deal with these images right now. We have four of them. Okay, so here we're going to do, now this is the right hand side. We have right top. So here we're going to do a display flex. And then we're going to do here, um, we're going to do align item center and the flex direction is going to be column all 
All right, so for the right top, so we have the right top and right bottom. So let's deal with the right top. I'm going to do display flex. Okay, so you can see it. And then here, we're going to do align items. Let's do the hover and hover. Um, the background color here is going to be 2222. Oops, I think um, what am I doing? Get rid of this. I'm going to do align items here, center, and then justify content. It's going to be space around. Let's check it out and see. Okay, that's because the image is big. Don't worry. Here, we're going to do a gap of 15 pixels. Okay, you can see it's shifting. All right. Uh, for each item, uh, we're going to do for the image, let's just control that position relative. Width is going to be 100 pixels, 100%. Okay, yeah, looking so small right now, not to worry. And then object fit, of course, gonna be cover. We don't want the image to look stretchy. So right now, let's do flex direction or display flex and then flex direction column. And then let's make the image bigger. So this is gonna be 220 pixels. Save that, you can see it. This is looking better. And then let's do a color of 666. You can see if we are white initially, 666 now, as you can see. So right now, let's position all those. Um, Icons and cart categories. So we have the categories and icon. The image is relative. That's because we want to position the icons and then the category to be absolute. So here we're going to do position of absolute for the category. I'm going to do display flex, align item center, justify content center. And then positioning it, left 15 pixels. And then from the top, we're going to have 10 pixels. Let's check it. As you can see it for the category, you can see it here. This is it, news, as you can see, categories. The icons are still at the bottom. That's because we've not done it, but let's continue. Uh, we're going to do a padding of two pixels, top and bottom, 10 pixels left and right. All right, so let's do a background color of 222. And then color is going to be white. Let's check it. Okay, it's taking shape. And then here, let's do a cursor pointer. And then on hover, we are going to do a background color of CE0000. See it? You can add in the transition there to be slower. And then for the icons, we're going to do a position of absolute. Um, display flex, align item center, justify content center. Oops. And then right from the right, I'm going to go 15 pixels from the right. Let's check it out. As it from the right. So we're going to move it to the top. So from the top, it's going to be 10 pixels. You can see it here at the top, all the icons at the top. And then here we're going to do a padding also of four pixels. 
and then background color of that red color all right so let's change the color to be white color is going to be white and then cursor pointer all right so this is looking okay all right so on hover we're going to revert it um, the background color is going to be 222 to see it so we're heading there we're getting there so for the title for this anchor tag So after the icons, so we're going to do title and then the color is going to be 333. Let's check it out. And then font width is going to be bold. Okay, so this is looking nice. And then let's do a transition of 0 0.5 seconds. That's because when we hover on it, so hover on hover and the color is going to be CE 1234 save okay so this is good all right so we are almost there right top then right bottom so for the bottom as for the link that's here as this here as you can see right top so after the right top, so we're going to do right bottom. And then here we're going to do a display flex. Align item center, justify content center. And then let's do a color of 2222. Nice three times. As you can see it's here. So let's bring it down. So here we're going to do here a padding top of 50 pixels. right so this is good and then let's um, let's do a cursor pointer for that let's do a gap of five pixels spread it apart a little bit and then cursor pointer all right so when we hover on each individual icon we want the color to change to the red color so here for previous on hover the color is going to be CE000 so select this and then we are going to have it for all same thing and then for next um, it's going to be same thing also color is going to be that red color save So we'll hover on each individual, you can see the color changing. I think we are basically done with this drop down menu. So we can add in here. So right now when we click on this and click on it, it remains. So what the situation whereby we'll click on a particular item, the other one closes, All right? So we'll click on this. We expect it to close so we'll click on the menu for we'll click on the item for world news uh, we want the home to close and the world news to remain we'll click for home we want the world news item drop down menu to close so here we're going to add in here drop down menu false drop down menu that is uh, drop down two to be false 
and for the uh, drop down to drop down one we're going to be false so we'll click on it it's going to be false so right now we'll click on this we'll click on this this one goes away click on this that one goes away all right so you can see how it closes the other one when we click on the other item all right so the drop down two is done at uh, the drop down menu two so we're going to head on to this one in the categories that's the drop down menu here all right so um so this is what we want to do right now so we have to go to categories here and then we're going to um, write the same javascript logic which is drop down drop down tree and then uh, if this is true we're going to render the div so let's just quickly go above and then create um, the use state for it so this is going to be drop down tree set drop down tree and then use state at uh, the beginning is going to be false as usual it's false because it's not going to be open in the beginning it's only when you click on it that's, that's when it's going to be open all right so let's head on down to categories and i'm just going to paste it the div so if this is true then it's going to render this div that i'm going to paste right now that is this um you can just look at it there's nothing special there it's just a bunch of ul li and then the anchor tag so this is it so we have drop down menu wrapper we have column another column with item title list it's just repeating itself so uh, i don't just want to waste my time and writing all these codes so you just look at it so we have columns and items and title and list items so that's just what we have in here and everything wraps around the um, drop down menu tree wrapper so this is it here all right so let's quickly jump into the styling and then um of course um so here drop down menu two ends here so below this we're just gonna say drop down menu three and then um, we're gonna do position absolute because we did position relative for the item as here so let's just right in that on click function there that's going to be drop down menu drop down tree so let's create this before we come to the styling let's go to the top just basically what we did in drop down one drop down two so this is going to be drop down tree and then we're going to pass in here an event which is going to be an on click function and then we're going to set drop down tree and then we're just going to toggle the drop down tree so if it's true it's going to be false if it's false it's going to be true so um just same thing happening all right so this is drop down tree as here this is what we want to do right now so all these are columns we have them in columns there so right now this is what it looks like it's looking ugly but we're going to make it look pretty with our css styling so let's just look for the category c we click on it we click on it then we we'll click on category goes out so we click on it and if you can see so this is what we want to make it look like at the end so here we're going to do position absolute um, position absolute and then we're going to do a here we're going to do a background color of white and then the top is going to be 40 pixels as usual right is going to be minus 140 pixels 
and then the width here is going to be 1145 pixels okay it's taking shape right now as you can see and then here we're going to do a height of 310 pixels okay this is the height so everything is going to fit in this and then here we're going to have padding of 20 pixels all around and then we're going to do a box shadow and that's going to be this usual box shadow we've been doing which is 0 5 pixels 10 pixels rgba and then this is going to be 0 0 0 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.1 Okay, as the shadow here you see. Okay, so and then border bottom is gonna be two pixels solid, the same thing. C E 0000 as this red line here you can see at the bottom. And of course um, Z the Z index is gonna be one. I want it to be above every other page, and then here we have drop down menu tree wrapper we're going to do display flex of course as you can see it's already inside all right so we're going to do a padding left of 20 pixels okay you can see that movement there and for the column as you can see here column so for column we're going to do display flex, we're going to do flex direction column, and then the width is going to be 200 pixels. Okay. So let's head on to item. For item, we're going to do display flex, um, flex direction is going to be column. Let's check it out first. All right, flex direction column. I'm going to do here align item center no it's going to be flex start flex start I want it to shift to the left side All right and then here we're going to do margin bottom of 20 pixels All right let's keep some room and then um, for the anchor tag uh, we're going to do text decoration is going to be none. Just want to get rid of the underline. Underline is gone. And we're going to do margin of 10 pixels at the top, 0 pixels at the right, 10 pixels at the bottom, and 0 pixels at the left. Okay, see that movement? Right. And then here, we're going to do a font weight of 500. And then we're going to do a color of 666 and then um, okay it's looking good all right so um what next um let's do here um title is a color of 222 Okay, and then then do a font size of 16 pixels, and then um, let's do a font weight of 700. Let's check it out and see. Okay, it's looking bolder right now. All right, so here we're going to do um, for the list. Padding here is going to be zero. Margin here is going to be zero. So it's the margin and padding that is causing it not to align properly. So when we get rid of it, it's good. All right. So we're good. So here for our list, li uh, padding is five pixels. Let's check it out. Now it's looking better. It's looking the same. So we are very much okay with it. Right, so let's make it on hover. We want it to be red. So here, that's here. So um, we're gonna say on hover, 
we want the ant cutter the color to be this red and then let's add a transition smooth transition of 0 0.5 seconds as you can see if you hover over the link the li see the color there red so this is okay so let's fix this right now so that um, when we click on the category every other uh, menu drop down menu closes except that for the category so we'll just go back at the top you know javascript file and then we're going to set every other drop down to be false so this um, set drop down many two drop down one is going to be false drop down drop down two is going to be also false so if you click on the this one you can see you're toggling it so we click on this and click on this it goes away click on this world news and click on categories it's going to go away the world news drop down is going to go, go away so that is it so let's do this one also drop down three it's going to also be false and then for this set drop down three also is going to be false um, you can do it on hover and you can do that also but i just wanted to use this method so it's nothing special there you can set it such that on hover the menu link appears so i think it's better that way but well, just wanted to show this other option. All right, so we're basically done with this, with the nab button. So we'll quickly head on to our um, hot links. That will be the next. All right, so everything is taking shape for now. So this is our next. So as usual, we're going to go to our components and then create a folder and then we're going to name it hot links. And then in here, we're going to create two files and it's going to be hotlinks.scss and then hotlinks.jsx. And then we're going to use our React snippets, RFCE, give us this boilerplate. And then here, we're going to import our styling, hotlinks.scss. Then here I'm going to have a class name of hotlinks. Please take note on how I do the styling. As we name the classes. So in our page, in our home, we're going to here render that component. So make sure you import that, otherwise it's going to give you an error. Save it. So here we have our hotlinks. So every other thing is working. All right, so right now let's X out of this and then let's create our hot links. So here we have hot links wrapper and then we have our item. Then we have our anchor tag. Get just rid of this HF. And here we're gonna say MD star border. That's our icon, first icon. Make sure you import that. If it's not coming, let's go on top and then import paste it in and this coming from as usual react icon slash then the md all right so here we're going to use so you have it here it's looking tiny that's the icon so let's make it a little bit big so it's going to be style font size and it's going to be 30 pixels Right, so it's looking much more bigger and then also we're going to add a span here and then we're going to write featured news okay so this is it here so let's style this drag this over here and then here okay so here we're going to have a class name of hot links and then we're going to do 20 pixels at the top, 30 at the right, 30 at the bottom, and then 30 at the left. All right. 
and then we're going to say margin rise is going to be auto margin auto so that is top and bottom zero left and right auto and then for the hot links wrapper i'm going to do here display flex as here okay uh, we're going to do align item center all right um justify content center and then we're going to do a gap here of 40 pixels and then lastly we're going to do margin bottom of 20 pixels okay all right now what brought it in the middle is the justify content center so here for our item we're going to do display flex as the item over here we're going to display flex and then align item center All right and then uh, for anchor tag as the a so let's just duplicate this so that you see it all right so you have them one two three four five four five okay let's quickly change up um let's get rid of oops all right so here i'm gonna add this favorite border icon make sure you import them so this is going to be what shot get rid of this it's going to be md flash on this one below import it okay so we're good and here we're gonna say it's gonna be md vision that's visibility this last one sound it's not coming all right so it's here okay all right so um for anchor tag we're going to do display flex and then align item center let's check it out you can see they are both aligned and then flex direction is going to be column check it out all right and then we're going to do a gap here of five pixels and then color is going to be 999 all right All right, so on hover, um, the color is going to be that red color, CE0000. And then cursor, let's say pointer. Let's add in a transition here of 0 0.5 seconds. So for our span, um, font size 16, font weight 900. Let's make it very big. Okay, so this is looking good. So here, below this, I'm going to add in here a class name of news dash dash and then have container and title and h2 and then we're going to write here news updates and then have a span put in bracket update 12 minutes ago or let's just say 20 minutes ago okay that's this here 
All right, so let's tell this one up real quick. After this, so we're gonna do news dash dash ticker. We're gonna do display inline block, and the margin is gonna be thirty pixels at the top, zero at the right, fifty at the bottom, and zero at the left. Okay. All right, so here we're going to do news for title, that's for container, um, padding, then title, then padding. We're going to do 11 pixels at the top, 30 pixels left and right, 13 pixels at the bottom. Color is going to be this white. Let's do this color that color that's the background color then the color is going to be white okay so it's just taking shape right now all right so for here the span as h2 i'm going to say display in line block See it, uh, margin is going to be zero at the top, 10 pixels at the right, zero at the bottom, and zero at the left. And I'm going to have a font size of 16 pixels, let's say a line height of 26 pixels. Let's do a font width first. And then here, we're going to have here a line height of 26 pixels. For span, I'm gonna do a color of CCC, font size of 14 pixels, and then the line height. Let's check it out first. See line height of 24 pixels. So this is pretty much looking more like the original build. See. I think there's something I want to do. I am going to change the names of the hot links. I think I'm having featured links all around. Let's just X out of this. Oops, I'm not done yet with the hot links. I have to change the name. Let's go up. We have here featured links, most popular, hot news. Let's change that. Here we're gonna have most popular, and then here, let's get rid of this. This is gonna be hot news. Get rid of this. It's gonna be trending news. And then here it's gonna be most watched. Save. All right, so it's better right now. Okay, so I think everything is intact. All right, so uh, right now we are going to be designing the main content. <coughs> Sorry, uh, the main content. So here we're gonna have two columns, one, two, one on the left, the other one on the right. Now, um, on the left, we're going to have one row. Then on the right, we're going to have two rows, one at the top and then this at the bottom. Now, at the top, we're going to have two columns, one left, one right. And then um, also we're going to have one column each. So that's basically what it is. So let's create um, a new folder. We'll call it main content. And then in here, we're going to create two files, uh, main content.scss and then main content.jsx. So here we're using our React snippets and then we're going to import our styling. It's going to be main content.scss. 
and then here we're going to have here a class name of main content all right save this so right now we'll head on to our home.jsx and then we're going to render that component which is going to be main content as you can see it at the top press enter to import it so you can see it here main content So let's get rid of this. So here, remember, we're going to have two columns. So this is going to be the first column. And in the first column, we're going to have one row. Class of row. And then um, in the second column, we're going to have um, two rows. Um, no, not this. Except of this. Below this, we're going to have another column. And then here, we're going to have two rows. Okay, so here, this one column, this another column. This is the first one, this is the second one. So for the first one, um, let's just finish up with the first one. We're going to have an... Um, here we're going to have an image and then we're going to our assets then let's say us ukraine the jpg of course you can see the image popping out all right um and here we're going to have an anchor tag let's get rid of the hr And then here, I'm going to say politics. Also, we're going to have another anchor tag. Get rid of the href. The class name is icon. And then here, we're going to render a an icon, which is going to be md flash on. Make sure you put that. It's not coming. OK, so the style, we're going to have a font size of 20 pixels. Font size. 20 pixels all right giving us an error let's just copy this class name and on the top i'm going to say import paste it in this coming from react icons and then i'm going to do md okay as the icon here just get rid of this All right, so here below this, we are going to have a class name of post info, and then we're going to have a UL with a class name of nav, and then li. We're going to say here Molly Nagel, and then we're going to have another li. We're going to say 10th January 2023. Right. So below this, we're going to have H3 and we're going to do lorem 11, press tab. Okay, you can see it here. All right, so let's quickly style this one up. Let's drag this over here. So here, we're going to do main content main content i'm going to do a display flex uh, we're going to give it a height of 65 vh to check it out okay all right um i'm going to do a margin for the top, it's going to be minus 40 pixels. For the right, it's going to be 30 pixels. Bottom, zero. And then left, 30 pixels. And then padding bottom is going to be 30 pixels. And then we're going to have a gap of 10 pixels. OK. All right, here, I'm going to style the, col the column. All right, so um, in the column, we're going to have a row. So. And then in the row, we're going to have an image. So let's take care of the image. So we're going to do here IMG. I'm going to do a width of 
and then the height of 100%. Let's check it out. All right, still big. Okay, so for the call, we're gonna do here flex one. Save that. Okay, so let's get it into shape. And then here, we're gonna do display flex. Uh, we're gonna do flex direction column. And then uh, let's do a gap of 10 pixels. And then let's do a overflow of hidden. Okay, image a little bit stretchy. I'm gonna come here and do object feet cover. All right, so the image is looking better. Okay, so for the row, uh, we're gonna do it here a position relative as we're gonna position positioning some um, a, a sentence that we have there and cards and icons also. Let's do flex one. And then uh, we're gonna do display flex. Um, we're gonna do here a gap of 10 pixels. All right, so I think we're good. Okay, we're okay. So let me just copy this, shift it. So we want the roll to be outside, we brought it outside. That's because we want the other one to take the same styling. So we don't want to put it inside the call. Okay, so for the cats, that is for the category, we want to do a position absolute, and then we're going to do a top of 20 pixels, left of 20 pixels, you can see it there, politics, and then we're going to do a display flex. And then the background color is going to be 111. And then color is going to be white, as you can see. And we're going to do a padding of 5 pixels top and bottom, 10 pixels left and right. Okay, it's looking better. And then the font size here is going to be 12 pixels, smaller. And font width is going to be 500. And then we're going to do text transform. It's going to be uppercase. Let's check it out. Okay, better. And then here, we're going to do here align item center, um, justify content center. Okay, so when we hover over it, we want it to color to change so here we're going to do on hover i want to change the background color to be ce000 so here our background color is going to be ce000 and then here let's add in a transition of 0 0.5 seconds probably a delay and here the color Cursor is going to be pointer. So as you can see, so then for the icons, it's pretty much similar styling. So just going to copy this, paste it in here, just change some things here, copy this also, paste it in here. I'm going to change this one. This is going to be 111. And then we're going to change this to the red color. C is here. As you can see it here. So let's move this to the right. Save that. All right.
right we are good Okay, let's see. So for our post info, it's going to be position absolute. Um, the bottom here is going to be zero. Um, bottom zero, and then left is going to be zero. I'm going to do display flex and then flex direction is going to be column. Let's check it out. It's here. You can see it. All right. So for the UL, we're going to do list tile none. Get rid of the, the bullet points, display flex, align item center, and then gap of 15 pixels. Okay. As you can see, it's there. You just have to change the color to be white. All right, so let's do for the nav. Uh, color is going to be white, as you can see. And then here, we're going to do font size of 14 pixels. And then font weight of 600. We're going to do a margin left of minus 15 pixels. Okay, this is it. And then here um, on hover, we want to change the color to that red color, CE0000. All right, so let's do a transition here of 0 0.5 seconds. And then here we're going to do cursor pointer. So this is it. So for our LI, we are going to do a font weight of 600. So the next step is our H3 tag. And we're going to do a padding of 10 pixels at the top, 20 pixels at the right, 20 pixels at the bottom, and 20 pixels at the left. And then we're going to do a width of 550 pixels. And then font size of 16 pixels, font weight is going to be 800. Check it out. Oops, not coming. All right, let's change the color. So it's a margin left of 5 pixels. And then the color is going to be white. Let's check it. Okay. And then on hover, and the color is going to be that red color. And then let's add, quickly add in here a transition of 0 0.5 seconds. And then here, let's do here cursor pointer. Okay, so it's looking okay. So right now, let's take care of the right side. So the left side is done. Let's take care of the right side. So for the right column, so we're going to have uh, two rows. And for the first row, we're going to have two columns. And for each column, we're going to have one row each, which is what we are doing right now. Add in here another row. Let's 
get rid of this right now. Okay. It's a little bit confusing. Okay, this is one row. Let's bring this one down. And this is the other row. Okay, we're good. So for this, we're gonna have duplicate this one more time. Save. Okay, right now we are okay. So we're having two rows, and in the first row that is at the top, we're going to have uh, two columns, and then for each column, we're going to have one row. That's what we have there. So here, we're going to do similar thing here at the bottom, but we're going to have only one row. Just change this one to three. All right, so we're good. Here we're going to have a class name of cat, anchor tag with the class name of cat, that's category. And then here we're going to have travel. And then we're going to have here icon. Get rid of this. Here we have our icon here. And this is going to be MD flash on. And then the style. We're gonna have a font size as usual, 20 pixels. Right, so let's copy this one here. And then below this, I'm just gonna paste it in, save. Get rid of this, it's going to be, oops, Lauren 4. Okay, so this is it. So the whole of this row, just gonna copy it. Have the anchor tag. Just copy from here. Paste it in here. Change this one. Um, education. And, um, I think every other thing looks good. Let's copy this post info and then paste it in here. Save. Okay, so the top seems done. You can pretty much adjust it if you want to. And I think I'm just going to leave it. So for the bottom, bottom row, yeah, we're going to have our image. Go to our assets folder, banner04.jpg. So because we've done the styling for the columns and the rows, it means that the style will just kick in as we paste in our code. So paste this one in, change this one. It'll be election. Save. Copy the post info. And then below this, we're going to paste it in. All right, so let's change this. And then here we're gonna do lorem. Oops, it's much. Let's get rid of some of them. All right, so this is okay. I think we are pretty much done with this. Let's just refresh this. I think um, we're done. 
this is looking much more exactly the same with the original build okay it's not too much changing so let's just x out of this and we are done with the main content so up next we will be this is nice all right so we're going to take care of this um this section here all right so this is going to be main body one main body two this one here and then main body three so you could see the stylings here are the same so we're going to call um, this one in politics style 2 and this one style 1. So we don't keep on redesigning everything. So this is going to be style 1. Take note of styling. And then this is going to be style 2. And, and look at style 1 also appearing here. Okay, so the design is the same. Now this is style two here for technology. You have this the styling, the design is the same as this in business that we have here, our Elon Musk. We also have it in fashion. So we, it means basically we're going to um, have this in a component, right? So that we can just give it data and then it, the styling just kicks in, all right? So we're not going to, style this over and over and again keep on repeating it so we're gonna this is going to be on each individual component right so also uh, we have that for the food recipe and the photos so and that's the beauty of having everything in component all right so um also you have here the heading title is the same the world news at this style tool they are all the same so this is going to be a component on its own as the heading look at healthcare and fashion look at politics entertainment look at the voting poll the same styling also we have it in here food recipe photo gallery readers opinion so we're not going to keep on redesigning this so this is going to be a component also on its own so we are breaking down this website into different pieces so when you combine them together, it gives you a huge project. So this is basically what we're going to be doing. All right. So um, if you don't get it, you're going to understand it as we move along. All right. So just before we start, um, the first thing I want to do is just to grab a file of dummy data. And this is it here, category. And then I'm going to drop it in the source folder. Drop it in here. Okay. Now, this is the um, dummy data that we have for world news, for technology. So, this is for world news. So, we have um, category, title, icon, heading image. So, all these stuff you see here. Um, the post info, the image, the author, the date, and the except. We have them all here image one image two image three image four and then for technology we have the categories we have the heading we have the author we have the date the excerpt the icon so all these data are coming from this dummy data here which we just put in here in the source folder So we don't have to um, write this one down. So we have a technology, just some dummy data. And then the images are coming from our source, uh, the assets folder in the public folder. So we have a finance, we have image, accept, uh, date, so this one also is for uh, the spots. 
and then we have for health fitness category title icon heading image heading except heading auto heading date as well as the image and then we have for lifestyle this is for lifestyle then we have for exporting this so we'll be able to import them in our in our other components we have for entertainment then this is for food and uh, now this one for food i'm going to show you real quick it's coming from here and then we're going to get the component for it which is going to be box um so this is it here for food and for photo gallery um they are all the same this is it so this is going to be a component on its own so it's going to be box option all right so we have food we have um, photo so the data you see there is coming from this category file so all this um, information here all these are dummy data if we decide to um, integrate the back end then we're going to choose probably a headless server for it that we're going to use sanity io or we're going to use trapi um we can also decide to use uh, graph cms for it so this is it here so um uh here we just have uh this is going to be a uh, main body one and then we're going to have a uh, style in there style one style two in main body one so uh, real quick in my component i'm going to create here a folder so this is going to be main body as the first one we're going to have main body main body two main body three main body four so we're going to have main body dot scsx and then uh, we're going to have main body jsx do our rfce our react snippets and then we are going to import our styling which is uh, main body dot scss and then here we're going to have a class name of main body okay so right now we're going to go to our home page and then we're going to render this component so main body make sure you import that if it's not coming you have to do it manually save and then let's check it out in our home page so this is it here main body okay all right so just x out of this then get rid of this and then in here we're gonna have main body wrapper and then inside the wrapper we're gonna have three items that is one two three so this one is going to be our widget this is going to be style one this is style one this is style two and this is going to be the widget All right so everything is inside the main body wrapper okay so here we're gonna have three items There's the all right, so uh, here in the first one we are going to have uh, style one. I can pretty much pretty much have all the codes here, but um, I just want to have everything in components. So um, let's go create our style one component. So here we're going to have style one folder. We're going to create a folder, and in here we're going to create two files. So we're going to have style one.scss for the styling. and then we're going to have style onejsx and here we're going to use our react snippets rfce and then let's just import our styling style onejsss all right all right so let's create um, style 2 so here we have style 2 folder 
going to create two files and then it's going to be style2.scss and then we're also going to have style2.jsx that is a javascript file then we have rfce and then we're going to import style2.scss all right so there's a third folder that we're supposed to have as third item for the third item we're going to have widgets so um let's create that also so this is going to be widget folder and um let's see, widgets or widgets let's say widget get rid of s so here the same thing widgets.scss and then widgets widget.jsx and the jsx is an extension that enables us to write html in a javascript file so here we're importing our style widget.scss okay let's just x out of this so this is going to be style one style two and then this is going to be my widgets all right so now also a component is the heading then the heading is appearing everywhere so um, let's create a component for that also so in components I'm going to create a folder and then this is going to be heading title and then similarly I am going to create um, two files and then it's going to be heading title.scss and also heading title.jsx to rfce and then let's import our styling always remember to import the styling otherwise the css won't kick in okay so um this will come back to this later <coughs> So for our style one, uh, let's quickly render our component here. So we're gonna have style one, make sure you import that. You can see it there at the top. And then this is gonna be my style two. It's not coming, so let's do this manually. This is gonna be style two. Let's control D style two change this one to lowercase s save that the warning goes away and then the last one is gonna be my widgets so this is widgets okay it's not coming so um, it's not coming so let's come in here and then import widgets from dot slash widget slash widgets okay so we're good okay so we've come in here we see style one style two and then widget so we're going to use flexbox to align these items horizontally All right so um okay all right so um let's just x out of this go to our um main body styling and style this one up real quick so here we're going to do here a main body we're going to do padding of 30 pixels top and bottom 30 pixels left and right let's check it out okay so you can see it. it's falling in place and then we're going to for the main body wrapper we're going to do display flex let's check it out you can see it's horizontally and then we're going to do a gap of 25 pixels let's say 25 pixels you can see the gap in between them as this gap here this is the gap that's 25 pixels all right then for our item um we're gonna do flex 
four, four, to see the flex four. So they are equally placed. And then let's do a weight of 100%. Let's just check it out and see how it looks like. All right, so we are okay. All right, so let's go to our heading and then let's style this heading real quick. But before that, let's go to, we don't need this main body that much again, except for our import um, of our dummy data so should I import it right now well why not let's do it so this is our dummy data here we're going to import this so the first one is going to be world news so here I'm going to use I'm going to assign a prop to this component and I'm going to use the spread operator that is dot 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 is the spread operator and I'm going to type in here world. You can see it here coming. So you're going to click it. So you can see it here at the top from categories. So um, it means that um, the world news here is having all our um, data accesses using the dot dot spread operator. So all this data here will be populated. Um, as a result of the spread operator so we're going to take in our props here but before that let's have in here our class name of um, style one get rid of this and then let's take in of course um Let's have in here heading title. Heading title, let's import it manually. So import um, heading, look at heading title. This is it here. This from total slash, total slash component, heading title, heading title. Okay, so this is our heading title. Um, let's design this one real quick. Yeah, we're going to have a class name of heading title. Let's get rid of this. Let's just check this one out. We have heading two here, heading title. All right, so here we're going to take in our prop here. So I'm just going to copy and paste it in because they are much. So, because we're going to have something like categories, um, title, and all that. So here, I'm going to have the title here is going to be category, category, save that. So if we check it here, let's refresh this. Oops, it's not coming. Was it title I used? All right, I get it. We're not taking anything in the uh, title component, heading title. So we're going to take in that prop title. And then here, um, let's quickly um, have another div here of heading. And then here, I'm going to have a span. And then here, I'm going to have a class name of title. Then here, I'm going to pass in here our prop title. So if we check it now, we're supposed to see world news. That is it here. All right, so 
I hope it isn't confusing. So we're taking in the prop here and then we're passing it here as category. And then we're also taking in the prop here title. So that's what we are basically doing. Okay, so um, here we're going to have icon. And then we're going to have um, FA long arrow alt left. Then we're going to have a span and the class name is going to be the divider. And in between the span, I'm going to have slash. Then we're going to have FA long arrow alt right. It's not coming, so we have to do it manually. It's going to give us an error. So come here. And then we are importing this from our React icons. Then for right, long arrow right. Save this. Come down here and you can see it. All right, so we're gonna have our installing just to increase the font size a little bit. So um, here we're gonna say. Uh, font size, font size, and then this is going to be 20 pixels. And I just copy down this and do the same for the right. Just change this one to right. Save it. Okay, it's a little bit bigger. All right, so let's go to our styling. So here we're just going to do heading title and then the border top as is this here just bring it together we're going to have border top and then this is going to be two pixels solid and then solid this is going to be CE0000 red color save Alright, let's check that. You can see the red color, red border at the top. Okay, so um, for the heading, I'm going to do display flex. Let's check it out. You can see it. They are aligned horizontally. I'm going to do align item center. And then we're going to do a padding of 15 pixels top and bottom, 0 pixels left and right. Check it out. Okay, just a space at the top. And then I'm going to do justify content space between. All right, now it's in between. And then for the title, we're going to do a font size of 18 pixels. And then we're going to do a font weight of 700. And this is it. It's looking better. And then the color is going to be CE000, the red color. And then text transform is going to be uppercase, so we want to be in capital letter. Okay. And then for our icons, we're going to do display flags and align item center. And then color is going to be 777. Check that. The gap of two pixels. see a gap and then um, here we're gonna do um, for the left when we hover over it the color is gonna be that red you can see the red you can see it and I'm gonna do the same thing for the right so let's just copy this and then paste it below and this also for the right Right, so let's do here cursor pointer. Save. I think it's better. 
can also add in here a transition but I, I don't think I'm gonna do that right now I'm just gonna leave it like that all right so everything about the heading is done so whenever I want to use it we're just gonna make use of it a component so I'm not going to style it again all right so in here for the style one So here, we are going to pass in our props. So we're going to pass in all the props. Okay, so. All these props you're seeing is the same. The same in all categories. So um, here, we're just going to pass in all the props as the heading um title heading image heading author heading date as well as the image one image two image three as well as their author and date and then accept so that's basically what we're doing here all right so below this so for the style one um after the heading title that's here we're going to have this top and bottom this is going to be the top and this is going to be the bottom so we're going to have two divs create two divs so here uh, the first one you're going to have a div with a class name of top and then this is going to be the bottom now the top is just going to be the head heading title heading image um, heading auto heading date and heading accept and then the bottom is going to be those uh, four four um, uh, four posts by different authors. So here we're just going to have um, a image tag with the source of heading image. <coughs> then we're going to have an anchor tag with the class name of category, and then this is going to be title. right so and then we're going to have our icon so this is going to have a class name of icon and then we're going to pass in our icon <coughs> all right so and then the next we're going to have uh, our post info as uh, div with the class of post info and then we we'll have we we'll have a ul with the class name of nav and then the heading auto i'm going to pass in heading auto here and then for the other li, this is going to be heading date. So the author's name and the date of the post. And then below the ul, we're going to have the heading except. That's just a little caption or the headline of the post. So we're going to save this and then let's check it out. So this is it. Okay, so um, that's the heading, that's the top, then the bottom, we're just going to have four posts there. So let's just style this one up real quick. So here we're going to have a class name of style one. Style one. And then we're going to have for heading. Uh, for icons, sorry. That is going to be for top. Top. So for the top, we're going to say post margin bottom of 20 pixels. <coughs> right down there, we're going to say here um, the width is going to be 750 pixels, and then height is going to be 175 pixels. Okay, it's taking shape. And then we're going to say overflow here is going to be hidden. Okay, so this is better. All right, so below this, we're going to have our IMG image. And then we're going to say here um, a width of 100%. And then let's do object fit cover so that the image won't be stretchy and then cursor pointer. 
so that we just have a pointer there all right now after the image we're going to have um that is uh, category let's do position here relative because we're going to position this absolute so here we're going to say position absolute and then we're going to do display flex uh, from the top it's going to be 20 pixels Let's do display flex, align item center, justify content center. That's it. It's here. Hope you can see it. And then let's just go from the top. And then here from the left, we're going to have 20 pixels from the left. So it gets pushed away. And then we're going to do here font size of 12 pixels and font weight of 500. And then color is going to be white. So that's it here. And then we'll have a text transform that's going to be uppercase. All right. So let's do a background color of 111. Oops. Save that check it okay and then we're going to do a padding of five pixels top and bottom 10 pixels left and right right so this is looking exactly the same and then on hover we are going to change our background color to be red color so ce0000 save that and then here we're going to add a little transition of 0 0.5 seconds let's check it out and see how it looks like okay so this is okay all right so um let's, after the category we're going to have um our icon and then here the same position absolute and then we're going to do display flex align item center just by content center uh, from the top it's going to be 20 pixels and this time around from the right it's going to be 20 pixels Let's check it out as it here it's stuck right now and then we're going to do here a uh, background color of red and then color is going to be white and then we're going to do here um let's see well, let's check it out and see what we have okay um padding here is going to be five pixels top and bottom 10 pixels left and right pretty much what we did for the category Okay, this is getting into shape. So here um, on hover, I'm gonna just change the background color to be 111. Save that. And then let's add a transition here of 0 0.5 seconds check it out and then cursor is going to be pointer so if we hover over it you can see how it changes okay um, after the icon uh, we're going to have here posts info as is this paste it in and then we're going to do here position absolute and from the bottom is going to be zero from the left it's going to be zero and we'll do display flex uh, flex direction column check it out that's it we have to make the text white 
All right, so uh, we're going to have a UL, and then let's uh, get rid of the um, button, and then get rid of the margin and padding, padding zero, margin zero, display flex, align item center, this is it. And then we're going to do a gap here of 15 pixels, as it here at the top. All right, so inside UL, or let's go outside the UL. We're gonna have class name of nav, and then I'm gonna change the color to white. Let's check it out, that's the color there. And then font size, let's do font size of 14 pixels. And then margin left of minus 15 pixels let's see oops we don't need minus 15 say 15 pixels all right so um Let's change it to 20 pixels. All right, so it's okay. All right, so um, next um, on hover, uh, the color is going to be that red color. Then for the li tag and the font width, let's increase it to 600. Now we can see it. Now it's too sharp, it's too fast. Let's slow it down a little bit by adding transition. And it's going to be 0 0.5 seconds. All right, so we have that smooth transition. All right, so um, after this, we're going to have our H3 tag. And then here we're going to do padding of 0 pixels at the top, 20 pixels at the right, 20 pixels at the bottom, and 20 pixels at the left. And that's it here. So here let's do a font size of 16 pixels. And then let's do a color of white. Let's check it out. This is it. And then we're going to do here a font weight of 800. And then a width of 350 pixels. Okay, it's looking better. And then here we're going to have color, it's going to be white. Oops, we've done that before. Um, let's say cursor pointer. And then on hover, we're going to change the color to the red color, CE, save, it's fast, add a transition, and this is looking better. All right, so um, we're pretty much done with the heading. Heading image, heading author, heading date, and heading except. So at the bottom, we are going to have here um, item, uh, two items, and then inside the item, I'm going to have left and right. It's going to be right. And then also this one also we're gonna have left and right so two items left and right so let's see what we're about to do so this is an item one item and then this is another item now inside the item we have left and right so that's what we're going to do right now so for the left uh, we're gonna have an anchor tag uh, with a class name of let's get rid of this href now this is going to have a class name of thumb 
now in it we're going to have an image then get rid of this and we're going to pass in our image one so this is going to take image one except one date one auto one so here we're going to have ul with the class name of nav and then the li is going to be image one auto and then the other li is going to have image one date so this is how we are passing it to our um, html tags I'm passing our properties in the html tag so you have to use this curly braces all right so and then for the history we have image except image one except so you can see it's coming already so let's take a look at it so this is it so for the right we're going to repeat the same thing so I'm just going to copy what we have here everything inside of it copy this and then paste it right here and then change this to two change this to two change this to two and then change this one to two save that and then i'm gonna have it like this all right so let's um style this guy then we'll finish up when we get back so after the top this is going to be bottom so for the bottom we're going to have um item and then we're going to do display flex all right so immediately we do display flex is in order align item center and i will do a margin top of 15 pixels it's looking good and one thing you should note the images have been shrunk so the images i have resized them to fit in properly so all right so if you want to do this you just have to resize your images uh, the images will be provided for you so here we have padding top of 15 pixels and then i have a border top of one pixel solid and then ccc save that so you can see the bottom the border there Okay, so here we have for left and right, it's going to be the same styling as this left and right. And then we're going to do display flex, uh, flex direction is going to be column. And then for the class of thumb, we're taking it in the image, the width is going to be 100%. Let's check it out. This is nice. And then cursor pointer. All right, so let's get rid of the bullet points. So below this, that is here, we have a class name of nav, and then list style is gonna be none, getting rid of the bullet points, padding and margin, setting it to zero, display flex, it's looking good right now. And then we're going to do align item center, justify content space between. All right, so that is for the author and date. And then for the li, the font size is going to be 13 pixels. And then color is going to be 777. And we're going to have here um, cursor pointer. So this is it here and then on hover i'm going to change the color to the red color and then let's add in here a transition of 0 0.5 seconds let's check it out and see this is good Once we take care of the styling for the style one, um, the others will be pretty much faster. So 
for the h3 we're going to do a font size of 13.5 pixels see it's already a bit bigger i'll do a font weight of 700 make it bold all right and then here we're going to do a text align start it's more like left there's no changes there um, color is going to be this uh, 333 check it out okay nice and then cursor let's say cursor pointer and then let's do transition here of 0 0.5 seconds and then below here on hover change the color to red okay so this is nice and okay all right so um what we're going to do next is just to duplicate this so i'm just going to come in here copy this i'm going to paste it in here i'm also going to paste it in here so just going to change the number this is going to be three 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 and then this is going to be four so you see how easy it is so once this is done i don't have to repeat this process again i just have to pass in the right props that's all as for the style one so here we have world news is pretty much done so um next up is the style two so this is done i'm just going to x out of this and then um so that's all for style one so for style two let's go to the main body this is style one we're passing it a prop world news this is for world news so we're using the spread operator for that so if we pass in here let's say technology enter and save you can see it's going to change to technology how awesome is that how cool is this all right so we can pretty much pass anything here all right so let's just say let's pass in lifestyle press enter save see how it changes everything just works automatically right so you can see the title the categories everything the images all changing so here we're going to leave it as it is get rid of this and first we have world news let's get rid of this it's going to be world news okay all right so for the style two uh, it's pretty much different kind of different but um we're going to pass in um technology here all right so um yeah um i'm gonna do the same thing i did in style one this is style two okay so let's um we're gonna design this okay all right let's pass in the prop so this using the spread is dot 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 is a spread operator so we're passing in technology enter okay so right now we don't need this again just head on to copy this in style one all the props are the same i'm going to paste it in here save all right so um here we're going to have a class name of style two so let's get rid of this so here we're going to pass in the component heading title 
and then passing this prop title is going to be category as this category could still be changing color as soon as we pass that so you can see the design everything kicks in we don't have to repeat the design for heading title we just have to pass in the component and it works and then pass in the prop so here we're going to have top just like we did in the other one top and then bottom so for the top we're going to have um, heading img and then we're going to have a which is anchor tag class name of cat here we're going to have title and then for the class name we're going to be cat and then here we're going to have another anchor tag with the class name of icon and then here we're basically passing in our icon save this to see as soon as you pass it there's a change in color and next up we're going to have here our oops post info and then have a url with the class name of nav and then our li this is going to be heading author and then another li this is going to be heading date date and below the ul we're going to have h3 tag and then this is going to be heading except all right so done with this so for the bottom remember we have top and bottom this is the top let's quickly style this up it's going to be pretty much the same styling so this is going to be style 2 and then the width is going to be 100 percent and then here for the top uh, position is going to be relative uh, margin bottom 20 pixels pretty much what we did in style one here our width is 370 pixels the height is 175 pixels and then let's do here overflow hidden okay this is nice it's looking good and then here we have our image and the width 100% let's do object fit cover save okay and then let's do cursor pointer all right so this is nice looking good yeah then we have our class name of cart category position absolute just come here it's long so we're just going to grab this one copy this from style one let's paste it in here get rid of this paste it in so let's copy the icon also paste it in here so you can see it's same styling so nothing changes no need for me to do everything over and over again I think this is also the same so let's grab this post info copy this and so we have the same design pattern so here below this just paste it in save hmm same thing right everything is okay okay very good let's check in hope there's no error somewhere okay i think
think we're pretty much good. All right, so right now we're done for the heading. So for the bottom, so here for the bottom, we're gonna have um, four items. So I'm gonna have an item here and then we'll have left and right. Each item I'm gonna have left and right, just like what we did before. So for the left, we're gonna have um, an image. And then here we're gonna have image one. Save this. Let's check it out and see. That's this image over here. And then for the right, we're going to have a UL with a class name of nav. And then the LI, you're going to have image one auto. It's already there. And then another LI, you're going to have image one date. All right. So after the UL tag, we're going to have history with the image one except. Save this. This is it here. So when we style this, we're going to duplicate it four times and then pass in the right props. So let's just drag this over here. This is the top. This is the bottom. So here, I'm uh, going to have item. Um, item. And then we're going to do display flex, align item center. Justify content space between. Uh, we're gonna have here a margin top of 15 pixels. Let's check it out. Okay, display flex makes it horizontal. And then we're gonna have a gap here of 20 pixels. And then padding here of 15 pixels, padding top, 15 pixels. And then border top is gonna be one pixel solid CCC. Save that. Okay, styling is kicking in. You can see the small border at the top. And then for left, for the left side, image, um, our width is going to be 130 pixels. Okay, make it bigger a little bit. And then let's do cursor pointer. So after the left, we are heading up to the right. Do display flex. Uh, display flex gives it this then flex direction is going to be column okay so we have it this way then inside right we we'll have the class name of nav and then get rid of the bullet point place style none margin zero padding zero and then display flex and then items going to be center come to that all right, so we're going to do align items, center, and then the gap is going to be 15 pixels, save, okay. So, for the ally, uh, we're going to do a font size of 13 pixels, and then the color here is going to be 777, let's check it out. Okay, we have this ash light gray color. And then on hover, we're going to change the color to red. So it's going to be CE. And then let's add in here a transition and then cursor pointer. Okay, so and then lastly for the H3, after this we have H3. So the H3 tag, um, we're going to do here align, let's do text align start. My default is already start or left. And then font size is going to be 13.5. 2.5 pixels font weight is going to be 700 and uh, let's do color 333 3, 3, and transition of 0 0.5 seconds and cursor pointer all right so we're going to have it on hover
So on hover, I'm going to change it to the red color. Save that. So this is looking pretty much okay. So what we're going to do right now is to duplicate this, the item. So let's grab it. Item, grab everything in the item and duplicate it four times or three times. And then let's change, save this. Change it to two, change it to two, change it to two, change it to two, three, change it to three. Change it to three, change it to three, then one more. This is gonna be four, this is gonna be four, this is gonna be four, this is gonna be four. Save. Let's check it out. Wow, this is nice, this is good. So style two is pretty much done. This is style one, style two. It's looking more like um, the original build. So right now we're going to take care of the widget aspect of it. As the widget here. So we're done with this. We're going to X out of this, X out of this. And then let's take care of the widget. Hold control and click. It's going to take you to the widget file. So here we're going to have a class name of widget. So in here in the widgets, we are going to have three divs. Um, this is going to be top. This is going to be the center. And then this is going to be at the bottom. So we're going to create three divs, top, center, and bottom. All right, so that's what we're going to do here. So here, we're going to have top, center, and bottom. So at the top, we're going to have an image. So I'm going to create an anchor tag. So here have um, the image, go to the source folder, add 300 by 250 and uh, .jpg. Okay, already have it here. All right, so for the center, I'm going to have a tag, h2 tag, I'm going to write stay connected. And also we're going to have an icon, fa shear alt, the class name. Make sure you import fa shear alt. All right, so drag this over here. And then let's style this. So here, we're going to do display flex. And then flex direction is going to be column. And then we're going to have a gap of 60 pixels. Let's check it. All right, so this is it. And then for the top, we're going to have a padding of 30 pixels top. 30 pixels left and right and 15 pixels bottom and then for the background color it's going to be this f4 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 and then text align center save all right so to see um, that's color around the image so for image i'm going to do a width of 100 percent and then the height of 100% and the margin bottom of 15 pixels and then finally cursor pointer let's check it out and see okay this is good all right after the top we have center and then let's do position relative Uh, we'll do display flex. Um, align items, going to be center. 
okay and then justify content space between to see how the icon floated to the other side to the right hand side and padding 12 pixels top and bottom zero left and right i'm gonna have a border top of two pixels solid and the red color ce save okay this is good and then z index is gonna be zero All right, and then here for the H2, we're going to do position relative and margin zero, and then color is going to be this red color CE1234, and then font size is going to be 16 pixels. Okay, and then font weight is going to be 700, save. Then the line height is going to be 26 pixels. Okay. And then let's do, let's do text transform uppercase. Okay. This icon is bigger. Our icon is small. Let's do a Z index here of zero as well. So for the icon, um, I'm going to have color is going to be 777, and font size 18 pixels, um, line height is going to be 26 pixels, and then cursor pointer. No effect. Okay, we didn't pass in here the class name. So here we're gonna have class name of icon, save. Okay, so we're good. So the top is pretty much okay. So let's go to the bottom. I will come back to this design. Let's X out of this. So for the bottom, as this over here, we have these icons. So here um, we're going to have a UL with a class name of nav. So I'm just pretty much going to copy everything here. I don't want to type everything because I'm lazy and let's just import all the icons that we need. All right, let's get rid of this, save. So I basically at the bottom we have UL. Yeah, this is it. And then inside of the UL we have LI. So we have the first one with the class name of Facebook, second one with the class name of Twitter, third one with the class name of Google Plus, and inside we just have anchor tag and a bunch of spans. So we have anchor tag and span, three spans. So we have RSS feeds, we have this Vimeo, and then we have YouTube. So there's nothing special here, just repetition and then change of icon. So let's quickly go to the styling at the bottom. So we have nav li a span. So for the bottom, we're gonna have margin top of minus 55 pixels. All right, let's check it out and see. Okay, this is it. And then for the nav, we're gonna get rid of the margin and padding okay let's get rid of the bullet points list style none okay is out all right so the background color is going to be that f4 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 okay so we have it all right, so let's do display flex. Whoa. All 
all right flex direction flex wrap wrap okay and then here we're doing a padding of 20 pixels all around align item center justify content space evenly save this and then do a gap of 35 pixels so this is it all right so we're targeting now the lia tag and then we're going to do display flex align item center well let's do flex direction column first then align item center okay it's taking shape and then let's do a cursor pointer all right so let's target the icon so we have lia icon There's an arrow somewhere. All right, so we're gonna do here um, a width of 60 pixels, a height of 60 pixels. Uh, we're gonna do display. Well, let's do background color first. And then this is going to be uh, zero it's going to let's get rid of this first let's say web kit transition and then we're going to have color of 0 0.25 seconds and then we're going to have background color of 0 0.25 seconds is in and out And then we're going to have here, you will see the effect after this, bear with me. And then transition is going to be color, is going to be 0 0.25 seconds. And then background color is going to be 0 0.25 seconds, is in and out. Then here, uh, we'll do display flex and item center, justify content center. All right, so sticking shape. Um, let's do border radius of 50 pixels. Um, then let's do font size of 24 pixels. And then margin bottom of 5 pixels. Okay, so right now I'm going to take care of each individual icon. What we did was take care of the animation that you're seeing when we hover over it. So we're targeting the Facebook, the Facebook anchor tag span and icon and then we're setting the border to be one pixel solid 3b5998 kind of facebook color and then the color is also will be that 3b5998 let's check it out to see it's All right, so on hover and the background color is going to be the same 3B5998 and then the color is going to be white. So this animation here, we're getting it as a result of the web transition. So after the Facebook, we're going to Twitter. 
next one is Twitter paste that in oops no so we are targeting directly at the anchor tag span and icon and then the border is going to be one pixel solid zero zero a c e d as this just copy this down just paste this in all right pretty much the same styling so we're just going to change this one also oops we didn't change the other one so i'm going to change this to the same color paste it in all right so i'm going to do the same thing for the google plus I'm getting the anchor tag span icon. I'm gonna paste it in. Oops, just copy this one again. Paste it in. Change the color. And it's gonna be that color. So copy this and then paste it. So we're getting this red orange color. So for the RSS feed, let's copy this and paste that in here. Change the color F60. It's orange color. Copy this. So I'm pretty much going to change the rest of them. So for the YouTube, same thing. Change the color to B00. Copy this, paste it in here, paste it in here, save. And uh, we are good, so this is looking nice. All right, so for the count, so targeting the li anchor tag span and count. Here, I'm going to have a margin top of six pixels. I'm going to have a font size of 16 pixels. All right, and then a font weight of 700. Okay, it's looking bolder. And then color is going to be 111. Save. All right. Then for the title, L I A span and title. So we're targeting directly. That is the mean of the angle sign you see there. So here we have margin top one pixels. Color is 777, see it. Font size is going to be 12 pixels. And font weight is going to be 700. And then text transform is going to be uppercase. I think that's basically all of it. And then this is looking awesome. So, um, 
just gonna X out of these widgets X out of this we're done with it so let's see what we've done this is what we've been able to do right now making progress this is awesome okay so right now we're going to take care of the add bat section at the bottom Alright, so we're going to take care of the advanced section. Alright, so let's go down to the completed build, this advanced section and the get news later. We're going to take care of this. Alright, so we're going to go to back to our components and then we're going to go to the main body, JSX. So below the main body wrapper, and then we're going to have here a div with a class name of advert middle, let's say advert middle wrapper. And then here we're going to have a div with a class name of adverts. We're going to have two adverts and then on the left and then this uh, newsletter on the right so that's what we're going to have and the right we're going to have top and bottom as well a title and then this form over here right so um, here we're going to have a div with the class name of advert and then in here we're going to have our image tag and let's just um, then we're going to have our as going to the assets folder, then advert ttt, and is a git git file, and then here we're going to write advertise advertisement, save it. Okay, so you can see it the git git file. All right, so after adverts. Um, here we're going to have a newsletter, so a D with a class name of newsletter, and then we're going to have top and bottom. So for the top, we are going to have this style in here that looks more like uh, the heading title. So here we're going to have a D um, H2 tag, and then we're going to write here get newsletter right and then below this we're going to have an icon and that icon is going to be fa reg envelope open make sure you import this and then this is going to have a class name of icon save right so we are good all right, so let's go to our style sheet. That is the SCSS. And then we just drag this here to our right hand side. Shift this a little bit. Okay, so this is it here. So after the main body wrapper, we are going to do adverts middle wrapper. And then we're going to display flex. Okay, so you can see it. It's shifted. It's aligned horizontally. And I'm going to have here a gap of 25 pixels. All right, you can see it's shifting. All right, good. So for our advert, we're going to give it a flex of 8. All right, so here we have advert. I'm going to have flex eight units so once you take up eight units and then for the news later and this is going to take up four units so we're going to have flex four save this all right so this is how it's looking all right so in here we are going to have a margin top of 100 pixels push it down and then we're going to do basically cursor pointer 
think that's that for this don't have much for it this is good so let's take care of the news later all right so uh, below here we're going to have also a margin top of 60 pixels check it out and see okay it's been pushed down and then here we're going to have top and bottom so here uh, for the top um, let's do position relative and then we're going to do display flex um, here we're going to do align item center and justify content space between save this to see the image being shifted to the other side all right so we're going to do here a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom zero pixels left and right and then the border top is going to be two pixels solid ce 0000, 000. Okay, save this. Let's check it out. You can see it here at the top. It's looking good. And then let's do our normal Z index. Let's be zero. All right, so we have done this. And for the H2, uh, position is going to be relative, margin is going to be zero. Um, our color is going to be CE. Well, let's do DA, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay, and then font size is going to be 16 pixels, and then we'll have here a font weight of 700, okay, it's looking good, and then the line height is going to be 26 pixels. right and then let's do text transform and that's going to be uppercase change it to uppercase letters and then finally let's do a z index of zero i think um, we are getting there this is nice right so then for icon we are going to have a color of 777 and then the font size is the font size of 18 pixels and the line height of 26 pixels save this and then cursor pointer so let's check this out and see how it looks like beautiful now this is looking more like it all right so um, let's take care of the form so for the bottom, we're going to have here a class name of bottom wrapper. So we have a D with a class name of bottom wrapper. And in here, we're going to have a class name of content. And then we have a P tag. And we're going to say subscribe to our newsletter to get the latest news popular news and exclusive updates okay I think that is basically all all right so after the content um, here we are going to have here a form and in here we're going to have a div with the class name of form input and then let's have our input tag with the type of email and then we're going to say here name is going to be email and then let's do a placeholder it's going to be email address and then let's also take care of some things let's do auto complete off we don't want it to guess email address for us let's do required and then class name is going to be form control all right so 
right so this is good so below this we're gonna have um, a button with a type of submit and then here we're gonna have um, an icon and it's gonna be ROI send plain field make sure you import that and for the style we're gonna have a font size of 25 pixels font size 25 pixels save all right we're having an error we have to import the font so just copy this copy this shift this a little bit so below here i'm going to import paste that in and this is coming from react react icon slash lowercase ri because it's starting with ri remember that so this is how it's looking right now all right so let's style this guy up and then make it look beautiful here so here we're gonna have button the bottom um, we as the bottom and we're gonna do a background color of f4 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 and then let's do display flex and then let's do flex wrap wrap we're going to do a padding of 20 pixels let's check this and see what we're doing all right so you can see that color the background color and as for the bottom bottom wrapper paste that in we're going to do display flex all right it's horizontal, we want to change it to vertical, so we're going to do flex direction column. Save that, it's back the way it was. And then we're going to do a gap here of 30 pixels and the margin 10 pixels. Save that. All right, so this is looking good. Okay. All right, so inside the bottom wrapper, we're going to have our form. And in the form, we're going to have form input class name. And we're going to do display flex, align item center, uh, justify content center. Let's check it out. Okay, it's good. And then here, we're going to have our input tag. And the width is going to be 90%. Let's check it out. Okay, and then here we're going to have a height of 40 pixels, Let's check it out, okay, it's now bigger, and then we're going to say outline is going to be, let's do button on and outline none, so when we click on it, we don't get that um, focus there, and then let's do a background color of E8, E6, E6, Save that. All right, so it's a little bit darker and the background. All right, so let's take care of our button. Let's just add in here padding of five pixels. Uh, let's make it 10. Okay, I think this is better. It's looking good. Mm, it's better. All right, so uh, for our button, uh, we're going to have here the same height of 40 pixels. And then width is going to be 50 pixels. Let's check it out. Okay. 
it's here and then we're going to do display flex align item center as the icon justify content center you see the icon moving center i'll do a background color of ce0000 save and then color is going to be white okay so let's get rid of the border so border let's do none okay the border is out and finally we're going to do cursor pointer all right so we are pretty much done with this section see how it is it's looking good This is an awesome website that you can have in your portfolio. You can use it for your magazine, newspaper, blog application, whatever you want to use it for. Build it for your friends, for your family, neighbors. All right, so let's take care of this. This is going to be main body two. So we just have our styling, style two, style one. This is where we are right now. So um, we're done with main body one. So here, all right. So in our component, we're going to create a folder. It's going to be main body two. So in here, I'm going to create two files. Remember, this is main body two. This is it. everything here is main body two. We have style two, style one, and then the other one, which is the future. So here we're going to create a file. This is going to be main body two.scss. And also we're going to create our JavaScript file, which is main body two.jsx. And here we're going to use our React snippets, R A F C E. Not coming let's get rid of it see it again rfce is coming press tab or enter i'm going to import our styling which is main body 2.scss all right so here we're going to have a class name of main body 2 and in here we're going to have um main body two wrapper and here we're going to have three divs style one one we're going to have style two you know, add two and also we're going to have style three okay all right so in style one we're going to have render our component and this is going to be style 2. Let's go back. Remember, this is style 2. And this is style 1. This is style 1. This is style 2. So look how style 2 is. This is style 2. And then this is going to be style 1. So we are just flipping it around. So here we're going to have style 2. Make sure you import that. All right. And then in here, we're going to have style 1. As the component we created see how easy it is all we need to do right now is just to pass in the props and then it will just set in the design pattern we just set in so we don't need to create style two over and over and style one over and over again so that is the benefit of using components functional components so in here in home let's render the main body two components Make sure you input that, otherwise you're going to get an error. Save. Okay. Still compiling. Just going to wait a minute and we will be up and running. So it's in here. So if you scroll down, we don't have anything yet that's because we've not passed in any props so as soon as we do that right now 
you're going to see it take action so here we have business that's finance and sports so in our categories we have finance and then we have sports so this is what we will be passing in and then with the help of the spread operator which we're going to use right now so we're going to pass this is going to take in this passing these props finance make sure you import this so you can see it right now it's coming in and then here we are going to pass in sports sports the dot 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 is spread operator make sure you import spot also to see it there at the top save and this is for sports very easy all right in the main body 2.css we are going to do here main body 2 and then this is going to be display flex and then we're going to have a padding of 0 pixels top and bottom 30 pixels left and right save this let's check it out we will have we're not going to have much effect right so um in the main body two wrapper just drag this over here and then main body two wrapper i'm going to do display flex and then we're going to have a gap of 25 pixels okay this is taking shape gap is going to be 25 pixels All right, so right now we're going to have um, style the style one. Style one. We're going to have flex four, four units. It's going to take up four units. And then for the style two, it's also going to take off, take off four units. And lastly, we're going to have style three. And then this is also going to take up four units. So save this. And voila, we have it. Everything looks just fine. Okay, so you can see it. Everything is working. We have the style two here. I have the style one here. We have the different authors and posts and images. So here, let's just do it width of 100%. For each of them, it's going to be 100%, and then also also this one is going to be 100%. Why not? Okay, so this is looking nice. All right, so um, we have done. So what we're going to do next is. Um, Hmm, makes a change here. Let's just do cursor pointer here. And then for the style two, also we're gonna have cursor pointer. So we'll hover over it, we'll get that little finger. Okay, so everything is working. So let's X out of this right now. We'll come back later. So for the style tree, we're going to have widget and then in here, we're going to have widget title and then we're going to have a H2 tag and this is going to be featured news. All right, so let's take a look at it. So that's what we have here, featured news and then this at the bottom. All right, so next up, we're going to have an icon. So this is going to be FA Reg Newspaper. Newspaper. And then we're going to add on to it class name of icon. Save this. So let's import this real quick. Let's bring this one down. 
and then this we're gonna say import paste that oops paste that in is from react icons slash fa lowercase fa okay so this is our newspaper icon after the widget title Um, here we're going to have lists and then lists um, let's just close this let's just style this one first and we'll come back to it so for style 3 inside the block um, we're going to have widgets and we'll do display flex and then flex direction is going to be column check it out okay good and then for the widget title we're going to do position relative uh, display flex align item center align item center Let's check it out Okay, you can see it's aligned horizontally and then justify content we're going to do space choose this one space between save okay see it's being pushed up to the far end uh, we're going to do here a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom zero pixels left and right All right and then we're going to do a border top of two pixels solid ce Zero, zero, zero. Save this. Okay, so this is it. Looking good. And then here, um, Z index of zero. All right, so for our H2, we're going to do position relative. Our margin is going to be zero. Um, color is going to be DA000. Okay. And then the font size, uh, let's do 16 pixels. And as for the weight, um, let's do a line height first of 26 pixels. Okay. Is the font weight of 700 and then text transform and this is going to be uppercase okay it's looking good now of course um, let's change this one to CE I think C is better okay we're gonna take care of the icon soon let's make this 800 too bold change back to 700 all right um, we're gonna have z index of zero all right so here we're gonna have for icon the color is gonna be 777 um, font size 20 pixels let's make it bigger let's check it out it's bigger of the same size and then do a line height of 26 pixels and then cursor pointer okay title is looking okay so right now let's come back here so for the list we're gonna have top and then bottom right so here this is going to be for the top and then this same styling is going to be bottom all right so for the top we are going to have a ul and then li a get rid of this href this is going to be a class name of hot news and then here we're going to say hot news 
okay so um this i just duplicate this three times two times what we're going to have here is trendy trendy news and then here let's use the class of active because we're going to make it red so here we have most watched of these it's going to be trendy news most watched save this okay so all right so um let's head back to our design this is how it's looking Okay, so let's go to our styling. So after the widget title, so here we're gonna have top lists, and then in list we're gonna say display flex, flex direction column. And then I'm going to do a background of F4, 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 and then a padding of 15 pixels, and a margin bottom of 60 pixels. Okay. All right, so here we're going to say top, display flex, and then Okay, so for the UL, I'm going to get rid of the bullet points. So I'm going to say list style none. Lists. None. Save. Let's check it. Okay, bullet points are gone. Let's get rid of the margin and padding. So we'll say margin zero. And then the padding is also going to be zero. All right, so uh, we're going to do a width of 100%. Okay, it's in the middle. Um, let's do a gap of 20 pixels. And then we're going to do display flex. Okay, align item center. Justify content center. Okay, it's good. And then let's do a padding of five pixels. So here we're gonna have our li, and then the color is gonna be seven seven seven. And then padding is going to be 5 pixels top and bottom, 0 left and right. Okay, this is it. Alright, so our anchor tag, the font width, let's take it to 700. Okay, it's a little bit bolder. Let's change this one to widgets and then change this also to widgets because we had widgets in the previous so you could see okay so we're good so it's the styling wasn't kicking because um the former styling that we had widgets as in the main body we had widgets here so it was conflicting. Let me show you guys. That's here in widgets. It's conflicting with this class name here. So it was a problem. So I just had to make that one widgets to differentiate it. That's a problem with um, styling this um, CSS. SCSS. So you just have to change your style. 
the class names otherwise it gets conflicted and then you feel you're not getting it but it's correct is the name of the styling that you need to change all right so here uh, for active uh, we're going to do a color of white and a uh, part as a background color of ce the red color check it out to see okay so this is good and then here we're going to do a padding uh, let's see padding of five pixels top and bottom six pixels left and right save that okay so this is good right now and then let's do here a cursor pointer save all right so it's looking more like this So let's X out of this and then we are going to take care of the bottom. All right, so um, the bottom is going to be this style in here. So we're going to have items, four items. I'm going to have left and right. Left is going to be image, the right is going to, it's going to be the text. All right, so yeah, we're going to have um, class name of item. And then here we're going to have left and then right okay so for the left we're going to have our image tag going to our assets folder this is going to be news widgets dash zero one dot jpg and then for the right you have a ul with the class name of nav li and this is going to be hand to raya and then the other ally you're going to have 20th January 2023. Okay, then below this, we're going to have history. Then we're going to do lorem 9. Save this. So this item we're going to repeat three times. Save. And then change this one to two, the image to two, change this image to three. And I'm going to change this one to four. So save. Okay, so this is uh, the lists. All right, so we're going to style this right now. Let's drag this over here. So after the top, so here we're gonna have bottom, bottom, and then we're gonna have item, class name of item. So we're gonna do display flex, align item center. Okay, display flex takes them horizontally. And then here I'm going to do a margin top of 15 pixels. Save. All right, so let's do a gap of 15 pixels also. Okay, all right. And then uh, we're going to do padding top of 15 pixels. And then border top of one pixel solid CCC, save. You can see the line, a faint line separating each item. All right, so for the left, uh, we're going to take it in our image. That's the left here. So IMG uh, width is going to be 1110 pixels and then cursor pointer. Okay, so let's be bigger. And then for the right, we're going to do display flex. All right, so let's do flex direction column. Okay, so for the nav, um, let's get rid of the bullet points, list style none. And then margin zero, padding zero. OK, 
Okay, this is good. Let's do display flex and then align item center. Okay. And then uh, here we're going to have a gap of 15 pixels. Separate the author's name and the date. That's this author's name and the date. Okay, so here for the li, um, the color is going to be 777. Save that. Okay, you can see it. And uh, let's do a transition of 0 0.5 seconds. That because on hover, let's come below. On hover, um, the color is going to be this red color. Save that. Okay, so we're done with this. So let's target the H3. H3. And then we're going to do a font weight of 800. This is 700. Uh, color is 333. Nice. Of course, we're going to do a transition of transition of 0 0.5 second, and then cursor pointer, and on hover, uh, we're going to have this red color CE000. Save. So we'll hover over it. So we are pretty much done with this. Um, main body 2 okay so this is our build so we are done with this so let's x out of this so we're going to take care of this adverts and also this section here that's going to be main body 3 Okay, we can equally add it here below this widget here yeah. so um, in here we're gonna have uh, widgets remember and then we're gonna have a class name pretty much going to do what we did here so in here have widget title and then we're gonna have h2 the class name of h4 and then we're gonna write advertisement and then below this we're gonna have an icon and that icon is gonna be go megaphone and then this here is gonna have a class name of icon Right, so make sure we import this at the top from React icon. Go. Okay, so this is it. The styling kicks in. Because we're in the same file, so the styling is going to kick in. All right, so below this, that's the widget title. We are going to have um, a class name of so here we're going to have going to our assets asset folder ad widgets. Oops, AD 300x250.jpg Lowercase x Okay, let's check for it I said 300x250 This one 
okay so this is going to be dash two and then this is going to be lowercase x save all right so we have our image here as this image here put it in here it's, it wasn't in the div Body two so after bottom here so here we're gonna have um, a d widget and then padding is going to be 30 pixels top and bottom top 30 pixels left and right and 15 pixels bottom all right so we're going to have hmm i think this is supposed to be let's do a background color of f4 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 Alright, it's not working. There's something. And then let's do a text align center. Hmm. Something is wrong. Alright, so let's target the image and do a width of 100%. Okay, something wrong, definitely. Just cut this one out of here and push it down. Say up a little bit, save. Save this. All right. So probably didn't put it in the right div. That's why it didn't kick in. So right now it's done. Let's just have here a height of hundred percent, and then margin bottom, and this is going to be fifteen pixels. All right, so cursor pointer. Okay, so we're good. So this is done. We are done with the main body too. So let's X out of this. And then we're going to X out of this one. All right, so the next is this. This is going to be main body three. We just have um, style one, style two. Um, we don't have anything in style three. So this will be faster. All right, so I'm um, in our component. We're going to create a folder. This is going to be main body tree. And then two files. Now you know the drill. Main body tree.scss. And uh, main body tree.jsx. And refce. And then let's import our styling. So this is going to be um, fast. 
okay just these two right it's no big deal so we're going to have it in here so here i'm going to have a class name of main body tree and then we're going to have here a div with a class name of main body tree wrapper and then in here we're going to have three i two items let's just do it, make it three so here we're going to have style one make sure you import this if it's not coming you have to import it manually this is going to be style two okay this one is here bring this one down for the style one um, let's say import style one from dot slash say dot slash dot dot slash style one style one save close this all right so what we we have here Let's render this. So in our home component, we're going to render the main body tree. Let's make sure you import that. <laughs> so this is it right now without data. Drag this over here. And here we're going to have main body tree. And then we're going to have a padding of 40 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. And we're going to have a margin top of minus 250 pixels. We want it to come up above. Okay, you can see it right now. And then for the main body wrapper, main body tree wrapper, we're going to do a display flex. And then the gap is going to be 25 pixels save this and then for the item we're going to have flex 4 unit as you can see and then the weight here is going to be 100 percent come back to it so for the category we're going to use health and fitness come in here use the spread operator paste that in make sure you import this also Look at it here, click it, and then here, use the spread operator. We have lifestyle. Make sure you import that above also, save, and then voila everything works fine this is cool that's the essence of having components you can reuse the component over and over and over again even in other projects so this is the beauty of um, react so here we're going to have a width of 100 percent so we're done very easy Right, um, just X out of this, X out of this, X out of this. So the next is going to be this audio video. Uh, we're going to do this right now. All right, so quickly, um, we're going to head on to our components and then we're going to create a folder and this is going to be audio video folder. And in here, I'm going to create two files, audio video.scss. And then I'm going to create the JavaScript file, audio video.jsx. And then I'm going to use our React snippet, RAFCE. And then I'm going to import our styling. If you don't have the React snippet, if it's not coming up, you just have to install it in your extension. So um, here, I'm going to have audio video. 
and then the class name here is going to be audio video right so quickly we'll head on to our pages home and then we're going to render the audio video component here if it's press enter and it's here make sure you import it so let's x out of that all right so let's go back to our finished build now this is what we want to build right now all right so um here let's just get rid of this all right so we're going to have a class name here of audio video wrapper And then in here, we're going to have um, the headline component. And then uh, here, I'm going to pass in the prop. Title is going to be, let's make sure you import the heading title. It's not coming up. Heading title from the, the slash, the, the slash component, headline, headline. All right. So doesn't complain then here I'm gonna say title um, title and this is going to be audio and then we're going to use this um, ampersand this format audio video oops is a mistake not dollar sign the and sign save that okay so we're getting it so this is the heading title it's quite large all right we're going to control that in a second all right so here we're going to have body and then in here we're going to have two divs the first is going to be video wrapper video wrapper and then the second is going to be list wrapper so uh, this is going to be video wrapper and this is going to be list wrapper so that's what we're doing so come down here and then this is going to be with the class name of list wrapper all right so in here um we are going to have a video tag so this is going to be video it's going to be a closing tag and then okay let's just come down here in between the tags we're going to have the source source tag and then this source is going to be for our video. So we're going to go to our assets folder, new update, and then .mp4 as the mp4 format. And then also the type is going to be video slash mp4. You can also have as many different formats as possible for different browser. So here we're going to say width is going to be a hundred percent. And then we we'll have controls. We we'll don't have controls and auto play and then loop. Save that. Let's check it out. Whoa, it's huge. So this is it. It's plain. Okay, so right now let's just style this. Let's drag this over here and then in here. I'm going to have for audio video and then padding is going to be 30 pixels at the top, 40 pixels at the right, 20 pixels at the bottom and 40 pixels at the left. And the background color here is going to be that red color, CE000, save this. All right, and then for the audio video wrapper, we're going to do here a border top of two pixels solid and then white. Right, so that's the border there. All right, so we're going to do a display flex, and then flex direction is going to be column. All right, then uh, for the body, we're going to have a video wrapper. All right, so here we're going to have flex, flex eight. So we're going to have eight units for the video wrapper, and then for the list, we're going to have four units. Okay. Um, then this is for the list so let's just come down here and for the list wrapper and then this is going to be flex 4 save let's do 4.5 it's not kicking in 
Hmm. All right, so here let's do a display flex. Okay, so it's cool. And then we're going to do it here a gap of 30 pixels and a margin bottom of 20 pixels. Save that. Okay, this is looking good. Okay, so we have to change the color. So in here, um, so here we're going to have for the title and then color, we're going to change that to white. save okay it's here also this is going to be white and we'll hover over it. it's going to be give us that gray color and then for the icon the color also is going to be white and then um on hover the color is going to be this um three 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 okay we're good Let's just go to the heading title and just copy that. So, because we have for left and for right. Just copy this. And then here, just paste that in. All right, so we're making these changes to look different from the default um, heading title. So that's what we're doing here. All right, so this is good. Let's play the video. Everything is working. This is the control. Without us putting the control, you won't see that. Let's make this one also large. You can minimize it. You can zoom into it. All right, you can pause the video. So right now, let's take care of the list. That's the list wrapper. That's over here. All right, so um, let's X out of this, X out of this. So in here, we are going to have a div with a class name of list. We're going to have list. And then we're going to have for item, we're going to have four items here. So let's just design this, then we'll duplicate. All right, in here, we're going to have left and right. The left is going to be for image. And then the right is going to be for um, the details there. That's the author name, dates, and then the except as here. This is right, this is left, this is right. Okay. All right, so in the left, we are going to use our image tag, going to our assets folder audio video 02 and uh, dot jpg save that okay and then for the right we are going to have a ul with the class name of nav and then we're going to have our li and it's going to be cynthia c and then another li and this is going to be 16th of april 2023 Okay, so below the UL, we're going to have H3 tag, and then we're going to do Lorem 11. Save that. Let's do Lorem 11. Save. Check it out and see. Okay, so this is how it's looking right now. So we have to style this. Okay, so um, we have item. We're going to duplicate this. So let's style this first. Let's drag this over here. All right, so here, we're gonna have a class name of lists. And then in here, we're gonna do display flex. And then flex direction is gonna be column. 
all right and then um the height is going to be 100 percent and then we're going to do justify content space between check that out okay all right so in the lists we're going to have item and then we're going to do display flex and then you can see it's aligned horizontally align item center and then gap is going to be 20 pixels let's check it out and see all right all right so uh, for the left left we're going to do our image all right that's the image here and then we're going to do display flex and then the height is going to be 100 percent and then the width is going to be 110 pixels save that okay so it's a little bit bigger and then let's do cursor pointer then for the right uh, we're going to do display flex let's check it out And then uh, flex direction is going to be column. All right, so for the nav, uh, list style is going to be none. And then let's get rid of the margin and padding. So here we're going to say margin zero, padding is going to be zero. Okay, so you can see it's aligned now, gotten rid of the margin and padding. All right, so let's do display flex and then um, check it out. Okay, this is looking better. And then we're going to do align item center. And then we're going to have a gap of 15 pixels. All right, so you can see it at the top, shifting there. Okay, so for our li, um, we're going to say color is going to be f4, 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 and then cursor, let's say pointer. Check it out, you can see it. Okay, so, all right, so um, here let's do for hover effect, and then the color is going to be white, although we're not going to get much. Um, difference uh, let's add in here a transition of 0 0.5 seconds okay still on right we're going to target the h3 after the nav ending tag h3 tag and then this we're going to have display flex Okay. and then we're going to do font size of 12 pixels and then font weight of let's say 700 or 800 and then color is going to be white okay all right and uh, let's do here a cursor pointer I just copy this text and then come here and paste it in here save all right so we're good we want it to look exactly the same all right so right now we can go ahead and duplicate the item but before that let's finish this up All right, so we want to have that um, glassy effect when we hover over it. And then here on hover, 
what we want to create is this glassy effect when we hover over it. So here, um, we'll just quickly do a border radius of five pixels, and then we're going to do border top. It's going to be one pixel solid RGBA zero 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 zero. I'm going to do 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.3. Okay. And then background is going to be this RGB 0, 0, 0, uh, 0 0.25. Okay. So we're having it. Okay. So let's do a box shadow and then use an inset. Zero one pixel RGBA and then this is going to be two to five two to five two to five zero point three. Save this, check it out and see. All right, it's appearing too fast, too fast, so let's slow it down a bit. So let's duplicate this first. Three times. All right, so we have it like this right now. And let's change up the names. So this one is going to be um, Augusta A. Change this one to three. All right, you can see the change. So let's change the rest and then it is going to be 23 June 2023 so this four change this one up this one is going to be Kevin you change this let's do seven at December 2020 let's change it to 2022 that let's leave it like that this vera i let's say 30 december october is 2022 all right so i think we are okay with this control is working everything is working when we zoom into it or so zoom out it's working so i think this is pretty cool we are done with this section of the audio video uh, drop down menus working Okay, so right now we are going to take care of this advert section here. And then the, um, we're almost through. We have the main body four, this is the main body four. So let's take care of the advert section. So this is gonna be fast. So in our source, our component, uh, we're gonna create, that is, um, we've done this. And then we want to take care of the advert section down here. Then here is going to be main body four. All right, so here, let's quickly go back to our VS code. And then here we're going to create a folder and this is going to be advert large. Um, two files as usual, advert large.scss. And then here we're going to have advert large.jsx is our react snippet it's not coming r e a f c e enter and let's import our styling and then this is going to be advert large.scss i think this is the fastest of them it's going to be advert large class name 
and then we're going to have a div with a class name of advert large wrapper and I'm going to have here advert large so advert is going to be here so let's go to our home page and then let's render the component advert large hit enter make sure you import that save right, so you can see it here advert here all right so let's go and then design that aspect of the build with of this here i'm going to have an anchor tag let's get rid of the href and then here we're going to have an image tag going to your assets folder advert 970 by 90 your jpeg and here advertisement save this go down below you can see it here all right so let's design this so in our scss let's drag this over here and then here we're going to see um advert large uh, we're gonna have a margin of 60 pixels top and bottom 30 pixels left and right okay so we have it here pushed down all right so and then uh, we're gonna have here um advert large wrapper i'm gonna do display flex align item center um justify content center check it out all right this is good and then let's say cursor pointer and that's all for this section all right so here all right so All right, so let's take care of the main body four. We're gonna call this main body four. All right, so we're having three items there. Let's get rid of this. So here we're gonna create a folder and we're gonna call this main body four. And as usual, we're gonna create two files, main body four.scss. And also we're gonna create main body 4.jsx then refce then let's import our styling real quick main body 4 scss all right so here we're going to have a class name here of main body 4 body 4 and then here we're going to have a class name of main body 4 wrapper for wrapper and let's say main body four. So let's quickly head on to our home page in pages and let's import the component main body four. Hit enter. Make sure you import that. And then here we can see it's main body four. All right, so X out of this and then let's design this so here we're going to have a div with this class name of style one one all right and then we're also going to have style two okay so in style one we're going to have our component style two we're going to use design two make sure you import that and then we're going to use our spread operator to pass in the prop and this is going to be politics Make sure you import that as well. Let's bring this one down. Okay, so same thing we're gonna do here for style two. And this is gonna be style one. Make sure you import that. And then we're gonna pass in the prop. And then this is gonna be entertainment. Hit enter to import that. Let's bring this not coming so style one is going to come from 
style one style one save let's check it out okay So this is hmm, there's a mistake here, and this is supposed to be inside of it. Save, Let's check it out again. All right. So this is style one, style two, and then the third one is going to be style three, three. All right. So we're going to come back to style three, three. All right. So let's finish up the design styling this and making it look good let's drag this over here and then here we're going to have main body 4 and then we're going to do display flex margin 0 pixels top and bottom 30 pixels left and right okay and then we're going to have main body 4 wrapper I'm going to do display flex and have a gap here of 25 pixels. Okay, it's taking shape. All right, so next up is to give it uh, the unit. So for style one, one, I'm going to do here flex four, give it four units. Let's duplicate this two more times. This is going to be style 2 and then this one here is going to be style 3 3 okay so we're good all right so right now we are going to take care of the style 3 and then the style tray is having the voting poll for checkbox and for radio. So let's create a component for that. So here I'm going to have style tree. And then in here, I'm going to create two files, you know, drill. RFCE import the styling class name is going to be style tree style tree All right, so we'll go back to our main body four, and then we're going to import that component. Start three, save. So you can see it here, style three showing up. So let's go ahead and design this aspect of the build. So let's, we're going to X out that we don't need this. Let's bring this one down. So let's take care of this style three. Control and click, and take it down there. All right, so in here we're gonna have a um, style tree wrapper, and then we're gonna have a div with the class name of widget tree. All right, and in here we're gonna have uh, the heading title. So we're gonna use our component heading title. Make sure you import that. And then here we're gonna have assign a prop, and then it's gonna be voting poll. And it's going to be that for checkbox. Checkbox. Save that. It's complaining. OK. 
okay it's okay as you can see checkbox checkbox all right so uh, below we are going to have a div with a class name of polling widget and then in here we're going to have title and in title we're going to use a history tag and say which was the best football world cup world cup in your opinion save all right so you can see it here All right, so below the title, we are going to have options, D with the class name of options, and then we're going to have a form tag, let's get rid of this action, and then we're going to use a D with the class name of checkbox, and then in here, we're going to have label, and then let's just get rid of the HTML4, and then here, I'm going to say input with a type of checkbox name let's get rid of this and then we also need to have a span and i'm going to say qatar 2022 save this okay so this is what we're trying to create All right, so um, then we're going to have P tag here. And then inside, you're going to have a span, and the styling here is going to be of width 65%. Save this. And then here, we're going to have a D for the class name of percentage, and that's 65% check it out and see so this is it all right so this we're going to duplicate this two times and then here this is going to be russia 2018 and then here this is going to be we have um 28 28 percent and then here, we're going to have Brazil 2014. And then let's say 0.7%, also 0.7%. Save this. All right, so this is how it's looking right now. So let's style this up a bit. Okay, so let's drag this over here. All right, so we're going to have here, let's go at the top, copy this style tree, let's style this up. So in style tree, we're going to have a style tree wrapper, and then we're going to do here a widget tree. And then in here, we're going to have a margin bottom of 30 pixels. Save that. All right, so here we have we're going to have polling widgets, and then we're going to do a background color of F4, F4, F4. All right, you can see the color there, the background color. All right, so uh, I'm going to have a pattern of 20 pixels around. That's it. Okay, so um, all right, so for title, uh, we're going to have our history tag, and then the color here is going to be 333. Okay, and then we're gonna have a font size of 16 pixels, and then font weight is gonna be 700. All right, so you can see it a little bit bolder. So the padding button, and this is gonna be 15 pixels. Save that. All right, so we can see the bottom there. Okay, so uh, for options, options. And uh, we're going to have a border top, 
of one pixel solid and it's going to be ccc okay to see that faint line there at the top and then for the form tag we're going to do a display flex so here we're going to do display flex and the flex direction is going to be column and then padding top is going to be 15 pixels check it out and see okay so this is it all right so um still in the form we are going to have a checkbox div and then here we're going to do a position relative and then display flex align item center i'm going to do justify content space between save this oops nothing's happening a gap of 20 pixels hmm. all right so uh, for the label i'm going to do display flex um here let's do display flex okay so we have it this way right now and then we're going to do align item center uh do a gap of 10 pixels let's check it out okay so you can see the space there between the box and then color is going to be 555 and we're going to have a pattern of 10 pixels top and bottom zero pixels left and right okay so we have it this way and then for the span uh, cursor is going to be pointer let's do cursor pointer let's check it out okay so you can hover over it then um here label and then for the p tag yeah i'm going to do here a display flex and then align items center justify content space between okay and then i'm going to have a color here it's going to be white all right so this is it and then we're going to do position here absolute um we're going to have here right um let's check it out and see what we have now this is what we want to take care of okay this little graph like so the, from the right is going to be zero weight is going to be 120 pixels all right so that's why we have relative there at the top this is absolute height is going to be 12 pixels and i'm going to have a background color of white and then margin right and then this is going to be 35 pixels and then we're going to have a border of one pixel solid ccc let's check it out and see what we have okay you can see it here right so um let's get that for the red in between um so here span width is 100 percent 100 pixels and the height is 100 percent and we'll have a background color of the red color ce save this okay you can see this right now it's nice and then for the percentage um here percentage color is going to be 555 save this okay it's here mm, let's come in here let's take this at the top let's make this change okay so it comes to this side so we made a mistake in our html so just bring this one up and also this one so the p tag is going to be below the label make sure you make that change and it's good so we're pretty much done with this we have our checkbox and everything is good and fine okay so this is done um, the next up is our vote now button 
All right, so um, okay, just before this one, um, we're gonna have a button tag with the type of submit, and then here we're gonna say vote now. All right. Okay, so let's style this one up real quick. So below this, as below the checkbox, and then here we're gonna do button and margin top of 20 pixels. And then we're gonna have here a background color of the red color. And then color is gonna be white. Let's check it out and see. Okay, it's not here. um this it's not showing let's refresh okay that means there's a problem somewhere this button tag I have to push this like uh, we have to push it up okay so we're good i think it didn't reload just did right now okay so we're good so let's continue and then here we are going to have a padding of three pixels top and bottom 15 pixels left and right so let's check it out and see all right so um next up here we're going to do a uh, max width and that's going to be fit contact so it fits the content and then uh, we're going to do a border on get rid of that dark borderline and then here we're going to do a font weight of 800 and then we're going to have a cursor pointer all right so and then on hover um the background color is going to be this 222 all right so you can see it so we need a transition up here uh, that's gonna be 0 0.5 seconds okay so this is our build all right so um let's get that for the radio option so um this is the widget tree so here we're going to have another d for the class name of widget tree and then um, we're going to have the same heading title and then um, here we're going to have title and then it's going to be voting poll voting poll and then this is going to be for the radio radio save this Okay, so it appears. All right, so this is good. Everything's working. And then below this, we're going to have poll widget. And then here, for title, I'm going to have a history tag. And then we're going to say, Do you think the cost of sending money to mobile phone should be reduced? Right, so it takes up the design immediately, so we don't have to do any styling. And then here we're gonna have options, and then we're gonna have a label. And for form, for the form, we are going to have a D with a class name of radio and label. Let's get rid of this one. And then we're gonna say here inputs. And the type is radio and then the name is going to be option let's say option one okay and then we're going to have a span here and it's going to be yes and then below this is it here you see the radio button all right below the label we're going to have a p tag 
and then a span and then in here we're going to say a style and then the weight here is going to be 55 cents save this and then below the p tag we're going to have a d with the class name of percentage and then that's also going to be 55 percent okay as you can see it all right this here that's the radio we're going to duplicate this two times and let's just change up this to no and then we're going to change the this is going to be average that's the last one so we have no and average so you see the radio button is working and then to style this we're going to, we're going to come in here and add the same styling so we're just going to add radio save and then the styling kicks in we're having the same um, percentage so we are going to change that so before that let's add on a button with a type of submit and then we're going to say vote now so it's taking up the same styling because it has the same class name so let's deal with this right now so let's change the width and then this is going to be let's say 82 percent 82 percent and then this is going to be 37 37 save this all right so we have different widths you can pretty much play with it as you deem fit so we are pretty done with this with this um, section, which is the main body four. All right, so um, this is pretty much done. The vote now, the buttons, this is our build. This is the completed build. So we're gonna take care of the food recipe. Let's take out of this. We'll start all over again. Uh, so what we are going to do now is to create a component in the component folder and then this one is going to be food food recipe folder now in here I'm going to create two files and this is going to be food recipe.scss and then we're going to have food recipe.jsx and then we're going to use our react snippet and then here we're going to import our styling food recipe.scss okay then here we're going to have a class name of food recipe save this then here let's just write food recipe so we're going to quickly go down to our home page and then render this component here and then this is going to be food recipe press enter or tab to import that okay so here now you can see here um, the food recipe okay so this is what we'll be building so we have the left and the right section so x out of this home.jsx all right so here we're going to have food recipe wrapper and in here we're going to have item left as the left item let's say item left and also we're going to have item right that's two divs and then in item left we are going to have our heading title and then we're going to assign a prop make sure you import heading title so the prop here we are assigning to it is going to be food and ampersand recipes save that okay and then for the right but let's check this out first okay so you can see it's food recipe
Okay, so let's just style this guy real quick. All right, so here we're gonna have food recipe. And then we're gonna say padding is gonna be 50 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. Okay, so this is good, having it this way. And then for food recipe wrapper, as this here, I have food recipe wrapper. Yeah, we're gonna here we're gonna have our two divs so item left right and then for we're gonna have item right so um here you're gonna have four units and then here we're gonna have eight units save that okay nothing is happening for now All right, so let's come over here and then we're going to do display flex. Okay, so it's an order. You can see it. It's food recipe left. And then we're going to do a gap here of 25 pixels. As the gap between the left and the right. Okay, now for the left, we have this is also repeating. This design is repeating. So we're going to as put this in a comp components so we're going to call it box i uh, box option All right so let's create a component for that so we're going to create a folder here in component and then we're going to call this box option and then in here we're going to create two files box option dot css and then box option .jsx. and then we'll use our react snippets and then we're going to import our styling here so by now, I hope you guys are professionals, you'll be able to handle this, save this. And here we're going to have a class name of box option. Box option. Now let's render this component in the food recipe. So below this, we are going to say render the component. So this is going to be box option. Make sure you import it and save. And then let's take a look at it. Now you can see it here, box option, it's coming. All right, so uh, now let's control and click. It takes you to box option file. Let's X out of this for now. Now we are going to, going to repeat what we did in the style one and style two. So pretty much the same design. All right, so come to categories scroll down we're exporting this food that's going to be for food recipe as well as the photo so here this is the photo gallery this is the photo and then this is the food so we already have the dummy data we're just going to repeat what we did for the style one and style two so here we have image one image two image three Okay, so um, I'm going to have box here, uh, but before that, let's come to style one. I'm going to copy this properties because we have one, two, three. We come here, we have image one, image two, image three, as well as, well as the accept, auto, and date. So we're going to come in here and pass in those props. Okay, so here we're going to have a div with a class name of box option wrapper, and then we're going to have item, and then in here um, we're going to have an image tag, and then this is going to be image one. Okay. So then below this, we're going to have a div with the class name of post info. And then we're going to have a ul with the class name of nerve and li image one auto. 
image one author and then here we're gonna have image one date okay and then below the ul closing tag for the ul we're going to have h3 with image one except save this and then this we are going to repeat this item two times and then here is going to be two here is going to be two changes of two changes of two and then this is going to be three it's going to be three it's going to be three and then for the except it's going to be image three except save this All right, so um, so this is what we are doing. So we're going to go to back to our food recipe, and then pass the prop in here using the spread operator. So this is coming from food. All right, okay. Press control space bar, you can see it here. Bring let's bring this down. Sit here at the top. Save, no warning. So we're passing it here using the spread. You can see all the properties here using the spread operator. And then these are we're taking in the props here, and then we're assigning it in our HTML tags here. So we have all our data here, dummy data. All right, so let's quickly style this guy up. That's the box, the box SCSS. Let's style this. Okay, so here we're gonna do box option. Now inside the box option, we have the box option wrapper. And then here we're gonna do the display flex. Align item center and then a gap of 15 pixels. Here, gap gonna be 15 pixels. All right, so it's taking shape as you can see. All right, and then for the item, we're gonna do flex one. So they're gonna have equal um, unit, equal width. And then the margin here, margin button is going to be 10 pixels. And then for the image, uh, width is going to be 100%. And then let's do cursor pointer. Let's check it out. All right, so you see it's aligning properly right now. All right, so the image is going to be positioned, the item here, we're going to set it as position relative. And then um, we are going to position the post info. So here, post info, we're going to do here position absolute. So this um, text is going to be inside the image. So left zero, you can see it here. I'm going to do a display flex and flex direction column. Okay, it's inside. I hope you can see it. And then for the UL, um, list style is none. Uh, I'm going to do display flex. And then we're going to do align item center. And then the gap here is going to be 15 pixels. Okay. And then here, let's do for the nav, let's do color white. Okay, you see the color here changing. And then font size of 12 pixels. And then let's do a margin left of minus 30 pixels. Now we can get rid of this because uh, let's get rid of the margin and padding in here. So let's do a margin zero, 
oops margin zero and then padding zero okay it's better right now all right so here we'll do a margin of 20 pixels uh, margin left okay good 10 i think 10 is better all right uh, here we are going to um, on hover we're going to say the color is going to be that red color ce to hover over it changing to red and then add the transition over here so it's smoother Then for our nav li tag, uh, font size here is going to be 12 pixels. And then the font width, let's give it 800. All right, then for the H3, I'm going to do a padding. 0 pixels at the top, 10 pixels at the left, 20 pixels at the bottom, and then 10 pixels at the right. Save this. Okay. Um, there's a margin. No difference. Okay. Change it back to padding. Let's do a line height of 20 pixels. Okay, so it's down. And then we're going to do a font size of 14 pixels. And then font weight of 800. And then, um, okay, it's bolder. And let's do a color white. All right, so right now it's clearer. You can see it. And then on hover, then we're going to change the color to the red color. Save. And then let's add in here cursor pointer. I think um, it's the same thing. So right now, let's take care of this advert section. We're going to go to our food recipe. So for the item right, we're going to have a class name, item right wrapper. And then in here, we're going to have two adverts. Uh, one is going to be advert one. And this is going to be go to here. We're going to have an image tag, assets folder. And this is going to be add 150 by 150 dash one dot JPG. Okay, we're having the image here. And then let's copy this advert one, duplicate this one more time. This is going to be two. And then we change this one to two. Save. Okay. This is the other one. So let's style this. Let's drag this over here. So here. Is the display flex here and the flex direction column 
now in right we're going to have item right wrapper and we're going to do display flex okay you can see it's aligned horizontally uh, we're going to give it a height of 100 percent and then align item center okay so let's do justify content center okay better and then here we're going to have a gap of 25 pixels save see the space spread it apart and then pad in here 20 pixels all right and then we're going to have a background color of f4 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 save to check it out okay you can see the background color and then here um, for advert advert 1 and advert 2 and then the image width is going to be 100 percent okay lastly let's do cursor pointer save this and we are done with this okay so everything is working fine this section is done All right so let's x out of this x out of this so the next is going to be this photo gallery and reader's opinion and then footer so we are almost done guys All right, so um, again, in our component folder, we're going to create here. The folder is going to be photo gal. All right, here, we're going to create two files. And then this is going to be photo gal.scss. And also, we're going to create photo gal.jsx. Use our RFCE. Let's import our styling. Yeah, we're gonna have here a class name of photo gal, and then here just just say photo gal wrapper, and then in here let just write photo gal. All right, so let's uh, render this component in our home page. So here photo gal make sure you import that save to see it here photo gal this is the complete build so we have the left right left side and then the right side so in the left we have top and bottom and then the right we have the reader's opinion okay so here so here we're going to have um, two divs, photo gal image and then we're also going to have photo gal reader. Alright, so for the image we are going to have our heading title. Title, make sure you import that component and then the prop. We're going to assign here title photo gallery. Save this. And then for photo gallery, we'll drag this for the reader option. This is going to be reader, reader's opinion. Save. Okay, so we have photo gallery and reader's opinion. So in our styling, let's just drag this over here. So here we're going to have a photo gal, and then we're going to say padding is going to be 30 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. And then for photo gal wrapper, I'm going to do display flex. And then have a gap of 25 pixels. Okay. 
and then for photo gal image we're going to do here a flex four sign four unit and then for photo gal reader we're going to assign flex four so the first one is going to be flex eight second one is going to be flex four let's take a look at it so as you can see flex eight eight unit and four unit this eight unit and this four unit all right so below this we're going to have a class name of top um, top and then we're going to have image tag inside the top going to say photo gallery 01.jpg save that then i'm going to have an anchor tag a class name of cat as category and i'm going to call this nature okay and then we're going to have another anchor tag with a class name of icon then in here we're going to render this icon md visibility style visibility make sure you import that all right and then here i'm going to say style and then we're going to have a font size of 20 pixels save this all right then um, after this i think we have to push this we're going to have a uh, post info and then we're going to do a post info and i have ul with the class name of nav and we're going to have li we're going to say kevin c udoker and then as for the date this is going to be 20 january 2023 save this then we're going to have um, history tag and we're going to do lauren 20 save this Let's see what we've done. Hmm, this is bugging out. So for the top, I think there's a mistake here. Uh, but don't worry, display flex. Let's use display flex here, flex direction column. And then here we are saying top for the top we're going to do position relative and the margin bottom that's going to be 10 pixels then for the image tag we're going to do a width of 100 percent okay nothing seems to be happening All right, so this is a problem. I have to bring this down. So I'm going to copy everything here that I did inside of it. Copy it from here. Copy everything from here, including the image tag. I'm going to shift it to the top, cut it, and then paste it here at the top so it was a slight mistake save this okay so everything is inside the top div all right so this is better this is nice and then here below the top we're going to render the uh, box i uh, box option so not to worry to cause a pointer here and then here we're going to have for category position is going to be absolute we're going to do display flex uh, we're going to do align item center justify content here is going to be center also just check out what we've been doing 
as this we want to position it here at the top left so here we're going to do just five content center and then the top is going to be 20 pixels and then from the left we're going to have 20 pixels let's check it and see so you can see here nature all right so let's design this here we're going to have a background color of 111 color here is going to be white And then I'm going to do a font size here of 12, 12 pixels and the font weight of 500. You can see it here. All right, so let's quickly add up here a padding of 5 pixels top and bottom, 10 pixels left and right. Okay, this is better. Let's have it here, uh, text transform, and that's going to be uppercase. All right, so on hover, I'm going to change the background color to be red color, CE. And then here, add a transition of 0 0.5 seconds. And we can also do cursor pointer here. This is looking better. So let's take care of that of the icon. So below this, we'll have icon as this icon over here. And then here we're going to do position. Let's quickly just copy this because it's the same styling, the same design. Just going to flip the colors around. So here is, is going to be right. You can see it here. And then let's invert the colors. It's going to be the red color. And then here, we're going to have 111. Save. And then voila, we are good. Now below this also, we're going to have a post info. Post info, we're going to do position here, absolute. And then uh, I'm going to do from the bottom, it's going to be zero. And then from the left, it's going to be zero. I'm going to do display flex and then flex direction is going to be column. Okay. Ooh. Think, um, here the UL list style is going to be none uh, display flex. Uh, let's do margin. Uh, let's do Margin zero, padding zero, get rid of the margin and padding. And then here, let's go align item center. I have a gap of 15 pixels. All right, also for the nav, we're going to have color of white. Check it out, see. Okay. And then, um, see uh, font size is going to be 14 pixels this is ending here all right so uh, let's take care of the h3 tag i'm going to say padding 10 pixels at the top 20 pixels at the right 20 pixels at the bottom and 20 pixels at the left and then the width is going to be 7, 10 pixels. All right, so you can see it here below. All right, so um, for this nav, let's just finish this one up. And then here on hover, we're going to give you that red color. Right, and then uh, for our nav li, our font weight is going to be 600. Save that. Okay, that's it at the top. 
All right, so let's um, give it a bit of a transition. Uh, let's do margin left of 20 pixels. Okay, that's good. And then uh, we're going to give a transition here of 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, so right now it's smoother. All right, so and, and let's continue from here. We're going to have a font size of 16 pixels. And the font width is going to be 700. And then let's um, have a oops, a color of white. Check it out. All right, so you can see it. All right, good. And then on hover, we're going to give it the red color. Okay, this is pretty much good. Let's check it. I think we're pretty much done with this section. And um, Let's see what more we're going to add. Let's change this one to seven. Okay, it's better. I think this is better. It looks more like this. All right, so right now, after the top, we're going to have our uh, box option. So here we're going to render the box option component and then we're going to That's this. This is what we want to do right now. And then we're going to pass in here our prop. So let's import box option from dot dot slash dot dot slash going to be component box option and then box option. Save that. All right, so here I'm going to pass in our prop. And it's going to be dot 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 using the spread operator. And then we're going to say photo. Okay, it's not coming. All right, so we're going to do it manually. Come in here. And then we're going to import photo. And this is going to come from our category. That's it. Save. Okay, so if we go to our build, and voila, you can see it. Everything is set up nicely, automatically. That is uh, the good thing of having components. All right, so this is done very fast. All right, so the next stop is our reader, the reader option. That is the reader opinion. Let's exit up this. Okay, so here we're going to have a div with the class name of reader list wrapper. And then here we're going to have three div. Okay, the three div is going to be this left and right. So this is going to be one. So this is going to be reader list item. So in item, we're going to have left and right. Okay, the left is going to be the image, the right is going to be this text over here. So here we're going to have a div also with the class name of reader list item. We're going to have three of these, but let's design this one first. So here we're going to have image reader img. This is going to be the left, and then we're going to have uh, the post info. Okay, so for the reader image, which is the left, we are going to render have our image tag, go to our assets folder, readers, opinion, 01.png, save that. And then for our, for our post info, we're going to have a title. And then here we're going to have a h3 tag. And in here we're going to render an icon. It's going to be FA quote left. Make sure you import that and this is going to have a class name of icon here at the top and then below this we're going to have lorem 8 
Okay, it's good.
right so in components uh, we're going to be creating um, a folder and that's going to be footer so here let's create a folder and it's going to be footer and in here we're going to create two files going to be footer dot css and also we are going to create the javascript file as footer dot jsx and then we'll do our rafce it's not coming all right so here let's import our styling footer dot scss and then here we're going to give a class name of footer right and then here we're going to say footer all right let's quickly jump to our home page in pages and then render this component make sure you import that save and then let's view this in our home page in our browser to see here footer okay so it's we're good to go let's excited of this we don't need it again all right, so here we're going to have a div with the class name of footer top and also we're going to have a div with the class name of footer top wrapper this, this is supposed to be in here so let's just cut this and shift it up save okay so in footer top we have footer top wrapper and then we're going to have a div also with the class name of footer bottom. All right, so let me just show that this is going to be the top. And then this darker side here below is going to be the bottom. All right, so top and bottom. All right. Okay, so let's take care of the top. Um, the top is going to be huge. So this is I'm going to have one, two, three, four, four items. All right, so I'm just going to drag and drop this. I don't think I want to uh, do this. I'm just going to paste this in. Paste. All right, there's nothing special there. I just have items, four items, and a bunch of UL and LI and then icons. So let's quickly import these icons at the top. Put this copy this paste it in here of course you know the drill so i'm just going to do this here slash fa all right so we're going to do for all put a comma there paste that in all the fa put the comma paste that in okay there's no other fa all right, so let's create that for. Let's copy this TFI, TFI angle, double right. Right icon slash T icon slash TFI. Save. Okay, we have this BS. But BS telephone fill. This is from React icons slash BS. All right, so it's stop complaining because we finished the import. So let's check this out. Scroll down, explain, and this is it here. So we basically just copied the first item. So that's in footer top wrapper is the first, first item, the first one. Okay, so this is what we are about to take care of right now. And for the about, that's this below, this one here below. So we have the probably the title and then this one there below. 
so in item in each item we have the top and then the bottom so this is what i copied in so there's nothing special there you can just take a look at it bunch of ul and li tags All right, so let's quickly drag this style sheets. All right, so for footer, we're gonna say footer top, and then here, I'm gonna do display flex quickly, um, flex direction column, padding. Here is gonna be 10 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. And we're going to do a background color of 1D, 1D, 1D as a little dark color. Let's check this out. Okay, so this lighter dark color. Okay, so uh, for the footer top wrapper, I'm going to do display flex and uh, a gap of 25 pixels. And then let's do a padding of 50 pixels top and bottom, zero left and right. Okay, hope you can see it. All right, so for the title um, item, um, item, I'm going to say flex one. So each item is going to have um, a flex one. And then we're going to do display flex. Um, flex direction is going to be column. And then I'm going to have a gap of 20 pixels check it out this is it here okay then we're going to have title and about so here we're going to say title and then we're going to display flex okay you can see the title there aligned horizontally is dark and then we're going to do align item center and then justify content space between save that Right, you can see it here at this end, the icon, and then you can see the about here. All right, and then let's do a border. Let's do color first, color of white so that you can see it. Okay, so and when we give the other content, this is for item, let's have this other item, three items, let's save. Now you can see it here. All right, so it's not looking good. All right, so let's have here a border top of two pixels, solid white. Save that, okay. And then we're gonna have a padding top of 15 pixels. Okay, see it shifted down at the top. All right, so here we're gonna have um, H2, oops. What's going on? Okay, H2, and then we're gonna do a font size of 16 pixels, and then font weight is gonna be 800. And then let's do text transform uppercase. Okay, this is looking better. So we're getting there gradually. So we're done with the top, that's with the title. Let's go back here. So let's go to about. Now let's take care of this section about. Um, here we're going to do a color of 999, save. All right, and then we're going to do for content, uh, we're going to do margin top, and then this is going to be 10 pixels, save. Okay, so this is looking better. And then for our P tag, um, let's do a font width of 600. And then text align left. You can also do start, I believe. Save. So this is good. And let's take care of the action. 
as this here this read more let's take care of this after this we are going to for action say margin 20 pixels top and bottom zero left and right okay so you can see it and then for the a tag as the anchor tag we're going to do display flex as this icon here and then align item center you can see it's pushed down it's aligned with the read more and i'm going to do a gap of five pixels and then border bottom of one pixel solid 333 three, three. okay you can see that line that's faint line and then let's do here a padding bottom of 10 pixels save that okay so you can see that space there shifted so let's um take care of the hover so we're going to do on hover and then this is going to be a color of the red color ce oops and then let's say cursor pointer and then let's add on here a transition of 0 0.5 seconds delay so you can see it right now okay so for our ul an li tag so after this action we are going to have ul and the list style is none let's get rid of the bullet points set margin and padding to be zero check that out okay see everything is aligned now um we're gonna have here a display flex and then flex direction is gonna be column and i'm gonna have a gap of 10 pixels save okay looking good have there a gap of 10 pixels all right so for our li uh, we'll do display flex all right so for the icon and the text align item center we're gonna see it align center gap of 15 pixels check it out to see it pushed up all right let's on hover effect um the color is going to be that red color and then let's say cursor pointer and then here add on transition 0 0.5 seconds delay So when we hover over it, you see that red color. So after this, um, we're going to have our icon as the icon here. So here we're going to say icon, um, just set the color to be white. Okay, so you have the color white. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this. So here, um, for the rest, I'm just going to paste the um, the code. So paste that in. X out of this so that I show you guys what I pasted. There's nothing special. I have this item here. I have this item for advertisement. This is for useful info link. So this from the very top first item about an address and then we have the second items useful info link so we have them here terms condition what have you then we have the third one this is the third item advertisement post an ad a bunch of ul and li tag i don't want to spend much of my time typing this then the fourth one we have career career available posts career details jobs apply now 
Um, you can also use this footer in your other projects. I believe this is a very much matured footer section. So save this. Okay, so um, we have an error because of the because of the icons that probably wouldn't import. So we're gonna do that right now. Let's copy this one here. Okay, we already have that. Paste that in. Let's copy this FA reg user. Just come in here, paste that in, save. Okay, I believe we are done. So let's check it out in our browser. Okay, so you can see them here, they are dark, right? So the title, the styling has kicked in already. So let's take care of the, um, the title kicked in. So because we have title here also, the same styling kicked in here. So let's take care of the link as the links. So this is what we are interested in right now. The links. All right, so here, let's just drag this over here. Control B to get rid of that. Control B to also bring it up. So for the links, I'm just going to come here and then that is after title links, title. Mm, title ended here. I can pretty much put it here. That's inside the item. All right, so um, for the links. I'm going to have the UL tag, um, UL, and then I'm going to do, take care of the bullet point as well as the margin and padding. So we've gotten rid of the bullet point. And I'm going to set margin and padding to be zero, and that's going to align the list to the left. You can see it's here pushed up to the left. Okay. And then for the LI, um, we're going to do padding top of seven pixels and then border bottom is going to be one pixel solid and it's going to be three, three, three. Save that. Let's check it out. See, okay. You can see the border line. All right. So, um, inside the LI, we have an anchor tag, do display flex. Align item center. Um, see everything is aligned center. Let's change the color to be 999. Save. Voila, this is nice. Okay, so let's give a gap between the icon and the text. And then say a gap here, five pixels. Let's do cursor pointer. Okay, so we add getting there gradually 
and then on hover we just want that red color so we have the red color here so we are pretty much done with this section remember we have the footer top and footer bottom so we're done with the footer top let's add here a transition 0.5 seconds delay okay so this is smoother and better it's not so smooth okay so right now we are going to take care of done with the top So we're done with the top, so come here, footer, bottom, just we'll come back to this later, let's quickly dive in here, let's exit of this, come back later also. Alright, so this is the top and then for the bottom. Here we're gonna have a div. We're gonna have a div with the class name of footer bottom wrapper. And in here we're gonna have uh, two div left and right. So this is left and then right. Okay. So this is gonna be left and this is gonna be right. So in right we're gonna have two ul, two ul in right, and then in left here uh, we're gonna use this um, p tag. And then we're going to use this ampersand copy as the copyright um, logo icon or logo 2023. Oops. And an anchor tag. And then we're going to say US News. Then let's put a full stop here and then say all rights reserve okay so that's this is it this is what we just did right now let's take a look at our project um all right we're gonna have uh, two ul ul with the class name of nav1 and then this will have li with anchor tag and then here we're going to say home let's duplicate this and then we're going to have li say li get rid of this href and then this is going to be faq frequently asked question and then the third one uh, we're going to say support Save that. Okay, so after this, we're going to have another UL with the class name of NAV2. And then we're going to have LI and then A. Get rid of this. And then here we're going to have an icon, render an icon, Facebook F. Make sure you import that from React icons. And we're going to have uh, four more of these. So this is going to have a class style in styling, font size of 18 pixels. Save. Hmm, error. Okay. Okay, we're good. So duplicate this four more times. Facebook, this is going to be Twitter. Let's get rid of this. F8, Twitter. That is it. Enter. Get rid of this. Google Plus. It's here. Press Enter. Then we're going to have here LinkedIn. Oops. YouTube. Get rid of this one at the bottom. 
two, three, four. All right, so we're going to have duplicate this one. And then here we'll say LinkedIn. Okay, so that's better. Let's take a look at what we have here in our home page. So this is it. So it's time to jump to our SCSS style, our style sheet. So control B to bring up this left bar and then um, so this is what we'll be styling scroll down footer button in footer button let's do a background color of 000, zero dark color save see it's very dark we can't see anything right now All right let's give it a height of 80 pixels save that you see the height here 80 pixels And then I'm going to say footer bottom wrapper. I'm going to do a padding of 27 pixels top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. Let's do a color of white so that we we'll see what we're doing. Okay, some of them are bulging out. And then we're going to do display flex. All right, you can see it's aligned horizontally. Align item center, and then we're going to do justify content. It's going to be space between. See it here. We have this, we have that, left and right. Okay, now let's take care of the left side. So for the left side, we're going to do display flex, and then align item center. Okay, it's outside, it's because of the UL. Not to worry, I'm going to take care of that. So for the P tag, um, P tag, oops. Okay, so um, colors, oops, color, it's going to be 999. Save. And font size, 16 pixels. Okay, you can see that here. Right, so um, as soon as we're done with the UL, it's going to push through and then fit in properly. Meanwhile, let's check. Okay, we're good. All right, so for the anchor tag, um, color is going to be um, the red color, that's CE000, that's this one here. And then font size is going to be 16 pixels. And then we'll have a font weight of 800. See it here, red. There's the text transform uppercase. All right, so this is better. I think this is better. All right, so let's take care of this side. So we'll be able to control that. Let's do cursor pointer first here. Okay, so in right, oops. Um, here, I'm gonna do display flex. Let's check it out. Okay. Align item center. I'm gonna have a gap of 20 pixels. Right. I think we're in order. Now here we're gonna have for nav one and nav two. We're gonna take up the same styling. List style none. Get rid of the bullet points. You can see they are off. Um, we're gonna do padding zero, margin zero, and then let's do display flex, and then align item center. Check it out. You can see everything has fitted in right now. All right. So for um, for our li, we're going to do a padding of zero pixels top and bottom, ten pixels left and right. Save that. You can see the space. 
and then for anchor tag uh, we'll do a font size let's say 16 pixels and then color is going to be 999 and then um, on hover and the color is going to be that red color ce enter this save you can see our icons a little bit too sharp i have to slow it down a little bit so let's this is a little bit smoother all right so here we're going to add a transition let's do cursor pointer first and then here let's add a transition of 0 0.5 seconds and voila we have come to the end of this build Okay, so this is pretty much done with the design. Right, so we're done. Congratulations if you have stayed up to this moment. I know that this is a pretty much long build because of the styling. If you're a beginner, you can look up this project to give you inspiration. You can use the code for your project. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I will bring you more real life projects. Let's X out of this. So this is just what we copied, the link. And this is our imports. Okay. We are done. So let's check out. All right. So let's take care of this um, navbar that is being stocked at the top. So when we scroll, you get the navbar button st stick there at the top. Okay, so we're going to take care of this right now because we don't have it here in our build yet. So we have the we want to have this navbar bottom stick to the top as we scroll. All right, so we're going to go to navbar bottom. All right, so this is where we're going to be doing the magic. So what we're basically going to do is to create a use state hook to keep track of the horizontal. So we're going to do const fixed set fixed. And then uh, say use state, and at the beginning it's going to be false. So we're creating a use state hook, and this is going to keep track of the scrolling. All right, so we'll scroll a certain distance is going to kick in. So right now, we're going to create a function. It's going to be handle scroll, and then this is going to take up an event. It's going to fire off if. So here we're going to write the logic. So if uh, window dot scroll y y so if this is greater than or equal to 200 so if this is greater than or equal to 200 from the top uh, we're going to set um, the fix to be true remember it was false initially so it's going to be true else if it's not we're going to set fixed to be false so it's just a simple logic that you can implement okay if you scroll is greater than 200 it's going to be true if it's not it's going to be false so here we're going to do also add on to window use the windows add event listener so what are we listening for a scroll so if there's a scroll then you are going to fire up this function handle scroll so that's basically what we're doing so if there's a scroll the event if there's a event and the event is scroll we're going to fire up this function handle scroll so just pretty simple stuff so here we're going to write a logic also in our a class name here so just going to get rid of this just add on this coily braces and say fixed if it's true we're going to add navbar bottom fixed else um, if it's false, then just quickly do our navbar 
button so if it's true we're going to hit this styling this fix is going to be applied also to the navbar button but if it's forced our default navbar button is going to set in so in our styling here and uh, let's just come down after this uh, we're going to do a navbar navbar bottom fixed so and then we're going to say top it's going to be zero and position is going to be sticky all right and then let's set, give it a high in z index z index is going to be 9999 very high so this is going to be above every other page it's to be more closer to you in the window so this is it we're creating a use state hook and then writing this logic if it's greater than 200 we'll set it to true otherwise it's going to be false and then we're listening for the event and the event is going to be scroll and if it's true fire up this class name if it's false use the default class name so now if we scroll as you can see it's at the top now if we scroll it sticks there at the top how freaking awesome is this so guys this is the end of the build we have everything working. We have the drop down menus. As you can see, everything is sticked here to the top. This is cool. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, hit the like button, click on subscribe. All right, so um, if I can get to a thousand, a thousand likes for this video um, I've been integrating the back end as well as the responsive aspect of it right now it's not that responsive so um, if you want the complete build you can also let me know for this project so everything is working to see the sections main body one main body two the audio video guys don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe tell your friends about this awesome channel okay so enjoy the build use it for your portfolio um, build it for your friends and family and uh, organization and i will see you guys in the next build thank you